you know, panicking. Quit your panicking. Watch your profanity. Oh, jeez. Hi, how's it going? I've been awake since 4 a.m. So I was like, you know what? Sleep is just not, I'm just not going to be going back to sleep. So might as well shiny hunt. Uh, No, not anxious. It's just like I, I woke up. I woke up at four and just couldn't go back to sleep. And if you want to realize how like right in the morning it is, look, your boo is still there. Eat your boo. I don't even have a oh <laughs> yeah I'm talking about you you know you know your name he knows his name So I figured uh, if I'm awake and I can't go back to sleep, which is the case at the moment, I might as well shiny hunt. See if we can get lucky. Oh, hi. You want to say hi to everyone? You want to say good morning? Come here. Come here. Come on. Good morning. He's uh, probably going to want to leave my office, so let me let him out. Come on, boo. Come on, bud.
Um, here, while I'm in full screen, I'll also show you. Because, like I said, I, for those just joining, um, I woke up super, super early. I woke up at four and just couldn't go back to sleep. But, um, you know, I went to go get water at one point. And found this on the way. So I had to go and shove my face in there real quick. And let me tell you, that is a loud place to shove your face. Because both of those cats will instantly start purring as soon as they get any attention. Um... So the other thing I did when I couldn't go to sleep for a little bit is just grabbed a bunch of eggs. So we can just hatch eggs for a little. I didn't hatch any, but I grabbed a bunch. So that way we can just, you know, kind of hatch some eggs. I'm sadly going to be at work when the stream ends. Mm. Don't, don't be... Don't be too sad. <laughs> I you know I wouldn't worry about it too much. So we can just f focus on hatching right now. Not like worrying about picking up the eggs. Ooh, practicing some Phasmo. Nice, good luck. You'll get it. I might have to grab my fan. It's still really warm in here. As the weather gets warmer outside, this office gets so hot. So, like, I constantly have to swap between, like, going over there to turn up the heat. Or, you know, putting the air conditioning in my window. Or running the fan or whatever. But, guys... You know, we're moving soon, and in our new place, the plan right now, like, where my stream setup is planning to go, I'm gonna have my own thermostat. Smart thermostat as well. Yup. I can just hop on my phone and go, oh, it's kind of warm in here. It's so nice. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I wanted to drink last night, right? Like, I was super thirsty after the stream. So, grabbed a bunch of water, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll put some gamer subs in there. Like, some, no, obviously, non-caffeinated gamer subs. Um, so, I was like, you know what? I'll have the uh, raw meat one that just came out. It's awesome. I really, really like it.
I'm probably gonna do uh, have the caffeinated one in a little bit this morning. Yeah, don't do us just having a good time. Come on, far fetched, my guy. So, far fetched is a version exclusive, right? I think he's only in sword. Which is like annoying because you know I'm playing in shield right and um, there's a the farfetch like farfetch actually spawns where I am like I'm at the place that farfetch would spawn so like you can actually kind of hatch eggs and encounter at the same time But only in sword which is actually what i originally played it on but then that was on the uh that was on the switch that got lost so i wanted to play this again so i could get dynamax raids uh so i played through shield Less than seven hours. Are you excited? Uh, no, I know better. <laughs> How did the switch get lost? It got lost in um, when I was going through TSA at an airport. At least as far as we can tell. And I just called and called and tried to get it back and just couldn't get it. Yeah. It's okay. Things happen. Sorry, just cracking open a fresh can of gamer sucks. Listen, sometimes I just want some carbonation, you know what I mean? Best of luck. I like the shirt? Yeah. Like I saw it at like I don't know. I was out shopping somewhere and I saw it and I was like, I like that. So I grabbed and I picked it up. I think I was at like Target or something.
That's how I get most of my clothes that aren't Achievement Hunter stuff. Imperium, welcome back for your 30th month. See, if we can get this far fetched, things will get interesting. Will we have the same P.O. box after we move? I don't know. Probably not, but we'll just have to wait and see. That's that's more of a cat decision. Why would it get interesting if I get past the far fetch? Um, because. Most of the Pokemon right after Farfetch'd are much easier to shiny hunt. So it'll be much easier to remove time. TJ Spider with the 26 months. Thank you. Um, but Farfetch'd is hell of a hurdle. Yeah, moving's no fun. It's worth it after the fact, but the the whole process is very long and very tedious. What is good is that you know, the last time we moved, we moved from Texas to New England, right? Which, that was a pain. Um, you know, this time, it's much, there's much less distance between the moving. So, like, and all of our families are here. So, like, we have plenty of help. And, like, you know, it's not this big operation across the entire country. We'll probably use movers for the big stuff, yeah. It's expensive, but... Like, we'll pack up all the small stuff and then be like, movers, can you come, like... Wrap up all the big stuff, put it on a truck and drive, <laughs> drive it down and then bring it in and unpack it. Yes, I'll be able to see my nephew more often. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm excited. I'll give you guys a heads up before we do it, because I'll have to take a bunch of time off. No, oh, no, surprise us. Wormbait, welcome back for your 15th month. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit too, even though I think she's awake. I just don't want to disturb Cat too much. Just show up one day with a different background. I wish it would be that easy without a bunch of days in between. Like that I have to take off, but it's not that easy. Blah. Um, we have some thoughts about where my office would go. But we have to see how... We have to see how certain things will work with, like, the internet and... Um... Like, deciding what areas are going to be, like, the best for lighting purposes and things like that. Am I being sentenced to the basement? No. I mean, I might be. Again, totally depends. Because there's an upstairs room that looks really good, but it has a skylight. And that might make, um, that might make lighting an issue. Uh, cats get an office, yeah. I mean, that's the whole point. We needed a place where, like... Because we have very specific needs. Right? Like, we need a place where... Cat and I can both have an office, because we both work from home. We need a place where my office and Cat's office aren't near each other. It's like, you know, they're not right next to each other or something, so that when we're both streaming, we don't hear each other. Um, we need a place with a good storage, um, space for merch. We also need my office to be a good distance from the bedroom, so I'm not waking up cat, like, late at night. It's a whole thing.
Well, the plan also would be because we redid the the wiring in this house. Um, where like our router is downstairs, but we had electricians come in and like make a central hub downstairs where the modem is, right, and the router, and then you know snake the cable through all the walls and stuff so that several of our rooms including my office has a hard wire plug-in in the wall so that like you know our stream pcs and and like when i'm streaming from the kitchen and things like that like we could be hardwired in so we're gonna have to do that in the new place as well I've thought about doing a soul link, but I don't know. It would definitely have to be with the right person. Yeah, because it gives me a lot of downtime, a lot of like podcasty. No, there's not fiber in the new place. I don't even know if there's fiber in like New England. It, if there is, it must be in certain areas of Boston. I mean, we have gigabit, but we don't have Google Fiber. We're in New Jersey and Xfinity is our only option, no fiber. Yeah, we don't, like, we have a few options, luckily, but, like, it's mo people mostly just use Xfinity. Um, will donations be added real time? I don't know. I'll talk to Kat about it. Xfinity's Comcast, yeah. Oops. I have a hamster wheel for it in Haverhill. I mean, nothing against Haverhill, but that doesn't really surprise me. I think I had family members that used to live in Haverhill. I think. Can't remember.
Thanks. I hope your hope your uh, gamer stuff shows up soon. God, I wish I could hatch uh, hatch this thing in Scarlet and Violet. Then I could at least like open Pokemon cards and stuff while we're getting the eggs. So we are over half odds on this thing. So, you know, odds are 1 in 5, 12, right? So, theoretically, it would be any time in that 1 to 5, 12 range in a perfect world, which this obviously isn't. Um, but, so we've gone through, you know, a bit over half of the... Uh, a bit over half of the eggs that it should take, but. No, there's no pin comment at the moment. How lucky is getting a shiny Masuda method only at around 200 eggs? Pretty lucky. That's what happened to us with the first ponytail. We got it at 194. Um, that's like, that's honestly really lucky. I would say anything before 300 is really lucky. Like anything before 100 is insanely lucky. Anything before 300 is really lucky. Anything before 500 is lucky. And then I would say anything before 800 is like to be expected. And then anything after that I would say is unlucky. the hell you know and i i remember having a batch of five eggs at one point and i was like why are these eggs in a weird spot i think i realize now there must have been there must have been five rogue ponyta eggs <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> you are not the father. Oh, that probably means this one's a pony or uh, yeah, this one's a pony tie egg, but you know what? Whatever. That was, that was, a, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, so like, as I was putting the eggs into the box earlier today, right? I was just like gathering eggs. Um, I like went into the boxes to see how many I had. And I saw like a weird gap between some of the eggs. And I was like, why is there a space there? Like, were there already eggs in this box? Like... Huh, that's weird. Those are in a weird spot. That explains it.
So this one's probably a Ponyta. But then the ones after it should all be far-fetched. Yes. Okay. But now, this should be a far-fetched. We're back. I don't know if it will end today. That's depending on two factors. A, how many subs come in today, and B, when Farfetch decides to show up. That's the two factors. I added five, but didn't only hatch four birds. No, I hatched, I hatched five because I hatched one bird, four horses, then one horse, four ducks. So I added the five. Oh, hey, what's up, Alex? Because, I mean, legit, this, like, just hatching something and hoping, 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 it can take hours. You know, I wish I could speed it up. But there's no way. There was no way. Oh, they're clearly born with the leak. Still 800 eggs passed with no shiny orthworm. Oh, it sucks. Honestly, this, this. Honestly, this Pokemon. This might be the one that if we get a shiny, I just might cry. <laughs> okay. This would be the one I'd be so, like, so overjoyed to get right now. This. Uh, I woke up at 4 a.m. and could not go back to sleep. I woke up at 7. Look at us! 
We're so. Wait, when did you start streaming? I checked there. We're so awesome. Sleeping. We're so good at sleeping um, and sleeping at a good time. Um, my dad is. Okay. Help. Papa Cat is coming up to help. Both of us. I bet you know where to find it. Is it in the microwave? Nice. Um. Oh, can you do me a favor when you get a chance? Yeah, what up? Can you fill that green one with, or just any of them with water? Yeah. It's the shiny luck. Thank or you. Actually, no, it's the it's the good card luck, but it is. We'll, we'll apply it. No, I no, thank you. This <laughs> is <laughs> right in my face. You looked intrigued. I was just like, it looked like a naked Dorito. What is it? It's a white cheddar. Popcorners. Oh. It looks like, show it to the camera. It looks like a naked Dorito. Look, that. Hey, yo, that Dorito. People seem to like them. It's good. It's really good. I mean, you have a whole bag, so I don't need to do that. Okay, I can be loud now. Now that I'm aware that you're awake. I said to you hours ago. That wasn't hours ago. Please don't tell me it was hours ago. Time isn't that Eight, meaningless. Okay, so, 40 minutes ago. Yeah. Jesus. Scaring me. Like, has my perception of time really gone that poorly? Yeah, but you didn't text me back, so how did I know you were awake? I was trying to be quiet. Oh, I thought you knew I was awake. I mean, I knew you were awake earlier when you shut the door really loud. I didn't shut the door really loud. I had to let the boo out. Yeah, no rush. I love you, babe. Oh, oh. <laughs> <gasps> I skip. I zip. Is that a zipper? Zip, you want to say hi? Probably not. Probably going to want to go downstairs. Hey, come here. All right, well. Zippy. No, he can hear Cat in the kitchen. Off he goes. <laughs> yep, and they're all gone. I just watched him, like, down the hallway, and his stomach, like, goes back and forth. He coming. Oh, uh, so it does. There you go. Um, if, 
if your cat got out, don't worry. Cats are smart. It's gonna hide for a little while. And then just put, like, put some of your clothes outside if you can. Um, some things online will tell you to put their litter box out. But when we lost Scoot, the woman I was talking to told me not to do that because it can, it can attract, like, predators. We live in rural Connecticut. Yeah, then I wouldn't put the litter box out. Um, put your clothes outside so that it smells like you out there. Um, uh, honestly, like, walking around calling for it doesn't help. You're going to be better off um, just, like, going out at... You know, like, cats are nocturnal. So, like, going outside at night and, like, sitting near where the cat got out. Like, the specific entrance. And, like, just kind of, you know, talking. And, uh... Because, like, if you're yelling and, and stuff, then, you know, it might scare your cat. But, like, chances are they're, like... What we were told is 90% of cats that get out um, are within two households away. Like, they don't... It's not in a cat's nature to, like, go out and run far. That's not that's not in the nature of a cat. A cat will get go outside and then find the nearest place to hide. So your cats just but like when they want to hide, they want to hide. So, you know, your cat most likely is just hiding very nearby um and just has to like get over that initial adrenaline rush and then um, they're very good at knowing exactly where they got out from, like the specific door or window. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. Scented towels or blankets? Yeah, things that smell like you. Like you're literally, like, instead of putting your clothes in the laundry, um, like, you know, put them, just put them outside. Cats are smart. You don't have to worry. Scooter was found way, way, way later after you went missing, but we had a very unique circumstance. Where there was construction, like, right next to our house. And, like, you know, so big machinery constantly moving around and stuff. So it, like, scared him further away. Cat wants to get a catio. She loves the idea of a catio for for the littles.
he was a ways away, yeah. He was, again, Scooter was a unique case. Big fear is coyotes and hot. Listen, we got coyotes around here. Fisher cats. And fisher cats and bobcats and eagles and all kinds of bears. We got all that around here. Literally, while we were out looking for Scooter, we would see, like, coyote tracks. Um, or, like, in the places that we were going to look for him. And that thing has never been outside in his life, and he made it. Cats are smart. Cats are smart. They got instincts. The important thing to remember... And this is what helped Cat and I um, through the beginning of it, is to remind ourselves that he's a cat. Like, I know that they, that cats and like your pets, right? They feel like your, they feel like your kids. They feel like your babies, right? Because you're so attached to them. Um, But it's not the same as if you had a, three-year-old and they were lost in the woods at night like it's not the same like that you have to be concerned about like oh my god how are they gonna like they don't know anything about what to do or blah blah, blah and stuff like that a cat is a cat you know they know what to do So, you know, Cat and I just had to keep telling each other, he's a cat. He's a cat. He'll be okay. And he was. And they have a fur coat to keep them warm. Yeah, that was the thing. We were all concerned, like, talking to the, like, that, like, pet detective we were talking to. We were like, but it's so cold out there, and he's used to sleeping in, like, a nice warm place. She, and she was like, he's fine. The cold is, he's not even going to notice it. Like, he's fine. Yep, posting pictures, honestly, yeah, posting pictures on your local, like, Facebook groups or, um, like, Nextdoor or stuff like that, that's, like, that's honestly the best thing you can do is just get word out to uh, the houses around you and just be like, hey, my cat went missing, this is what my cat looks like, just, like, every now and again if you just want to, like, glance into your, you know, backyard or something and see if you see anything. Ninja Hopper, thank you for gifting a sub to Senor Smaysme.
honestly, Booker has gotten outside twice now without our knowledge. And both times he just stood there. Actually, three times. All three times he just kind of stood there and was like, this is, what the hell is this? I'm like, Booker, what the hell? And he'll be like, oh. And I'm like, he'll go in. No, Zipper has never gotten out. He doesn't seem to have much interest in it. We even bought Booker a uh, harness and we like brought him outside one time because he just looked like he wanted it so bad. Zipper is a spoiled cat. He's too... I don't think, yeah, I don't think he'd deal with it. With being outside. He likes to have his food given to him. He likes to be in blankets. He, like, he's... I don't think he has any interest in having to do work. Not like you. My little explorer. Yeah. Hey, you were outside for a long time, Pooby. And I think you had quite enough. I felt his little feet, um, like on my chair. And I looked down, and his face was just looking at me. And he was like, Meh. Like, oh, hey, bud. FRZ, thank you. Yeah, I see you. And yes, you are cute. Poofins belong indoors, though. Cats are invasive, that's true. Are you an invasive species? Are you an invasive species? My little eco terrorist. Hi. You have such cold peats. Why are your peats so cold? What are you doing? Stop.
Finish it? There's more seasons somewhere else, but... If he stayed up here, I was gonna put the microphone against his mouth for when he yelled at you. It's really funny. Ow! <laughs> Hi! Careful, he's full of food. Oh, by the way, yes. last night, you know, I let Booker in here. Yes. Uh, immediately found the springs started playing with him. He was rolling around. Uh, can you do me one more favor before you go? Can you grab my fan and bring it over here? Farfetch ain't gonna cooperate. I mean, I know I'm still under odds, but I'm like, Argh. Struggle is real. Yeah, the struggle for certain mons is is real, but uh, let's see. When's the next time I'm gonna have to do this? Probably for the fossils. I think that's how I'm gonna have to try to get the, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them anywhere else. Almanite and Kabuto and Aerodactyl. Like, I know you can run into them in the wild, but I feel like that is not going to be as lucrative. Oh, 
So, yeah, I... Like, the strategies coming up, the only ones that are going to be kind of annoying... Like, the next one that's going to be sort of annoying is Krabby. I need Krabby and Kingler, both of which are going to be... So, I'm just going to try to get two shiny Krabbies in uh, Let's Go. So, that will be chain catching, which is a whole thing in itself. Um... Then there's... Uh, then Cubone and Marowak will both have to be in Let's Go, I think. I don't think they're in. Oh, I could Egg Hunt them. I'll probably, I'll probably do Let's Go. Um, and then Alolan Marowak will either be trading in Let's Go, or I can try the Dynamax Raid, like, cheese thing. Uh, and then, yeah, should all be fairly straightforward from there. Kangaskhan? Kangaskhan will have to be eggs in some fashion. Is Kangaskhan in this game? Or I could do Let's Go. You can do Let's Go for Kangaskhan as well. But that's... That's gonna be a nightmare. So he'll be a pain. Or she'll be a pain, I guess. Um, and then the fossils, and then the birds, and the Dynamax raids. And that's Gen 1. Chain catching a rare spawn is ick. Don't I know it? It was the last hunt we did. But yes, this is this is definitely the I I think this is the final hurdle of the shiny thon. Bye, Mino Loomis. Have a good day at work. But, you know, we'll see. I don't know if this will be the last day of the stream. I I honestly think... I think we'll pass 15,000. I do seriously think that. Uh, I mean, the only times I go back, back and watch recordings of shiny Pokemon that I missed is if a fan, like, if fans see one that I didn't, right? Because that's the only time I know it's there. So I've done that twice. It's happened twice. What two? Dugong and Char Cadet. Two shinies that are incredibly difficult to see. Uh, I'll pr probably do a shiny um, 
Hey, that person just donated. Like a shiny thon compilation. I give this to you, Jeremy, cause you are awesome and love all that you've done. It's also for being so cool to me during the times I ran into you during RTX years 2016 to 2019. You will always be part of my. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you for the $100 donation. My God, thank you. And Sivet, thank you for the 10 sub sub bomb. Holy crap! Yeah, damn. Here, I'll look up the message because it got cut off there. Which, that was $100, so Fred Bird, if you're here, I don't want to hear it. So cool to me the times I ran into you during RTX years 2016, 2016 through 2019. You'll always be part of my favorite videos. Here's looking at you, kid. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, we were at 555 55. You're right, we were there. Oh, you just got some stickers? Nice, thank you. <laughs> it is like a big chat room, yeah. Facts. Got a shiny Ninkada in Pokemon Go? That's awesome. Congrats. Oh, Deerling's a tough one to see. You have to really be keeping an eye out for that. Mm, monkey. Thank you. Yeah, the sauce bucks don't have great shinies. I mean, the deer ones don't either. Monkey. Hey, <laughs> you know what else doesn't? Valerian farfish. That's another Pokemon that doesn't have a good shiny. All this effort for a yellow chest. Yeah, I know. It's insulting. Would I say Gengar's the worst shiny? Um, I don't know. I mean, possibly.
if I if I didn't have to be paying full attention to this, I could like pick my favorite shinies and stuff. Who has, in your opinion, the most unique, if not best, shiny? Um, I would say, pr um, when we did that test... Hey, that person just donated! Um, ...to determine my favorite, it What's was Trevenant. What's your oldest Trevenant. Pokemon? My is my first starter Blaziken from the original Sapphire. He's my boy and resting in my White 2 version. Oh, that's cool. Um, my first Pokemon was this, was, uh, Bulbasaur. Subflation sticky incoming. There was just a hundred sub donation cat. So I don't know if that's included in it. And I meant a hundred dollar donation, but my brain no work goo. Okay. Subs waited. We have 44 minutes. An hour and five minutes for donation. Or one hour. One hour and 49 minutes. Don't check on it. The cat will look again later. Oh, thank you, Sand Doom. This is going to greatly slow down our productivity in terms of shiny hunting, but whatever. That's yellow. It's yellow-ish. All right. Um. Okay, I'm gonna pick my favorite shiny Pokemon in each of the these categories, so we can figure out what we like, or like what I like the most. Because people always ask, like, "What's my favorite and least favorite?" So. I did a kind of a different format last time. All right, so starting with the normal types. Normal type Gen 1. So Gen 1's gonna be a lot of green. <laughs> It'd be a lot of disgusting green, right? Um. <laughs> I 
Ooh, it's got to be either Ditto or Eevee, right? It's got to be one of those. I don't mind Porygons. I kind of like Porygon Shiny too, but Ditto and Eevee are both really good. I think it's got to be, honestly, I think White Eevee is just super good. Fire has to be Charizard. Yeah, I mean, Ninetales great, Ponytail great. I think it's got to be Charizard though. Like, you just can't beat it. It's so good. Okay, now we got... Oh, man. It's so basic, but... Like... But Red Gyarados, man. Red Gyarados just hits different, you know? I gotta give it to Red Gyarados. It's, it definitely has the win there. I mean, hold on, what's... We'll see if maybe I need to switch that out. Um... You know, this might be kind of a controversial answer. Actually, probably not. I'm, I think, I think I like... I think I like Tangle the most. You know, I like, I like the bright green. It, it like fits, it works. Victory Bell's pretty good. Electric, Voltorb, easy. Ice. Look at freaking Dugong. Look at Dugong and Articuno. Like, what the hell? I uh, gotta give it to Lapras. Yuck. <laughs> yucky yucky category um it's it's gotta be machoke and the reason i say that is because it's like a it's a it's a good green and um it has like the lines on its arms turn like a bright blue which also stand out I think it's got to be that. Okay, we got Nidoking here. Nidoking's a fantastic shiny. I like shiny Arbok. And shiny Weezing ain't bad. Um, I mean, Nidoking is such a good shiny. So good. I'm gonna send Nitto King, but I might have to change that uh, depending on what I have for ground. Okay. I don't know, that gold Geo dude. That gold Geo dude. Hits kind of right. Platy, go back to bed. Go back to sleep. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to see you until after the subathon. Little piss boy. All right, flying. Is there anyone here? Green Zubats. Okay. Do I switch out? Maybe I switch out. Um. Gyarados here and put him in flying. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And you know what I'm going to put here? Shelder. Put orange shelter there. I like bright orange shelter. He looks good. Uh, okay, Psychic. Uh, Mew. Gotta be Mew. Blue Mew. So good. Mm. 
bug? Dude, pincers so weird. Um, probably, honestly, probably Metapod. I kind of like, I like that, I like the rich orange Metapod. Um, Scyther isn't just darker. I mean, he is. But, uh, also the sections between the green parts are turn red. That's it, you know? Rock. Ooh, now wait a minute. I don't love any of these, I'll be honest. <laughs> the only one I kind of like, I think, besides Geodude, because we picked that earlier, is probably Kabuto. I don't think the green works on Kabutops very well, but I do like it on Kabuto. I think that looks fun. I don't, I don't like the pink on Aerodactyl because... To me, it makes it look fleshy. You know? Uh, Ghost, Ghastly, easy. I'm gonna have to look at that more. Dragonair, easy. Easy mode there. No, there's no dark Pokemon in Gen 1, so we'll just put the little guy there. Steel, I mean, I like Magnemite, so what's better than Magnemite? Three of them. These suck. <laughs> These are just not good. Green ears or green eyes. They're just bad. They're just plain bad. I mean, Steel didn't exist in Gen 1 either. No, it didn't, but... Some Gen, po Gen 1 Pokemon got the Steel type. No Gen 1 Pokemon got Dark type. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Jigglypuff, I guess. Out of those options, I'm gonna just give it to Jigglypuff. I, I don't like any of them. Um, okay, best starter is gotta be Charizard, right? I mean, I know they're including Eevee in there. Eevee's good, but... Listen, I, I agree Charizard is overrated. I agree wholeheartedly. That I've had enough. I already did Charizard too. But that's fine. It can repeat down here. You know? But list but that but black Charizard. Oh. Okay, gimmick form. Gotta be Mega Gengar. Gotta be Mega Gengar. They fixed everything that needed fixing. Mega Gengar is where it's at. Legend still goes to Mew, hands down. Favorite, Blue Voltorb. Biased, yes. All right, let's hit Johto. All right, normal type Johto. Um, I don't really like green shinies. I'll be I'll be honest, and it's it's between Porygon two, for me. It's between Porygon two and um and Girafferig. I I like shiny Girafferig looks really good. It looks better in three D than it does in its sprite form. But I don't like blue milk. And maybe it's just my general distaste for Miltank, but. <laughs> I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to Porygon too. I like the blue. Ooh. Oh, shiny ho. -oh. I'm giving this one to Slugma. Slugma what? Shiny Slugma. So good. So good. They did Macargo dirty by not giving him an awesome shiny.
you know. Water. Ooh, ooh, this one's tough. This one's tough. This one's gonna take some thinking. There's a lot of really good ones here. Um, the whole Totodile line is great. I love the Totodile line. I honestly think Chinchou and Lantern look awesome. Azumarill is great. Politoed's really good. Um, oh, Corsola is so good. I love Shiny Quagsire. This is that one's hard. There's a lot of really good ones. I have to go with the one that just makes me the happiest. Oh, no, you know what? I've changed my mind. I'm giving this one to Totodile. I like the teal. I like it. And there's there's a reason that I didn't pick certain other ones, and it's because I think they're going to be in later categories. Grass. I mean, Celebi. Love shiny Celebi. Ooh. This one for me is either... Something about Chin Chow I really like. I love that lime green on it. But it's probably between Mareep and Raikou. do really like Raikou's my favorite shiny of all the legendary dogs. Um I think I I like I'm gonna send Marie. I like Marie. Ice Yucky. <laughs> I'll give it to Deli Bird. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. <laughs> Fighting. Uh, oh, Heracross. Hands down. Love, love pink Heracross. It looks great. Poison. Ooh. Spinarak. Blue Spinarak's good, 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 good. Oh, Gligar. Blue Gligar is so good looking. Gold Steelix is pretty dang good, too. Oh. All right. This is getting this is getting tough. Because I gotta put a Ho-Oh here. Ho-Oh has to make this section. Like, Ho-Oh is just incredible. So, I like Gold Steelix. I really do. Gotta go to Gligar. I love Blue Gligar. I think it looks so good. Oh, fuck off with this. I don't mind green Espeon. It's like of all the green shinies, it's a it's a it's a nice green. Mm. 
I'm gonna give it to Espeon. Mm, it's, it's green Scizor. Looks good. Rock is gonna go to Corsola for sure. Yeah, I have one option there and it's disgusting. Men only want one thing and it's disgusting. Um, That has to go to Kingdra, which is why I didn't even consider Kingdra for the water ones because it has to go there. Dark, Umbreon, easy. Steel, Steelix. Right, I forgot. He can go in the steel category. We're good. Silent Tank, welcome, 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 welcome. Happy to have you here. Fairy. Boom. That was the one that I was saying, uh, I have to go with what makes me happiest. I, I had to go with that. Okay, I'm still trying to egg hunt, like at this, like trying to make some progress. All right, so best starter, Totodile. It's gotta be best gimmick form. Steelix. That that goes pretty hard with the white spikes and the gold. That goes pretty hard. Uh, Legend, ho -Oh. Looks so good. Favorite. There you go, Umbreon. It's so, it's so, like, it's so clean. that I just have to I gotta give it to Umbreon they just did it right it, it's so simple and it's so good okay gen 3 oh my god I forgot about slacking slacking's so gross um honestly this one's probably going to go to Zigzagoon. I like that orange Zigzagoon. Uh, cam mm, camera ups? Yeah, camera ups. Camera up can take that one. Okay. Water. Gen 3. It's a lot of good options. A lot of purple. They like purple. Uh, I'll be honest, I really do... Wombray's Shiny's really good. <sighs> Am I just going to give this one to Mudkip? I feel like I'm blinded by Mudkip love. I feel like I'm making poor decisions because I like Mudkip. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, I I No, you know what? This needs to be a gut reaction. I'm going Lombre. I like the lime green with the teal. I think it looks really good. And like it sticks with his theme and it but it still looks really good. I don't love Lombre as a design, but I think the shiny is really good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, there's some good ones. Oh, there's some good ones. Even Nuzleaf. I hate Nuzleaf. And it's shiny's really good. It's, I think it has to be Septile. Septile is so freaking good. Like the red eyes. Yeah, it's got to be Septile. 
like the red eyes and the red like flowers on its back. Uh, Manetric. Love it. I love that shiny. I like blue electric too, a lot. Oh, Regice, my favorite. Shiny legendary. This one's going to snow run. I like his little blue, blue cloak. Reloom. Azalea. I do like blue Flygon. I'm just wondering, am I do I like it as much as purple swampert? I'm gonna give it swampert. All right, flying. We now get out of here, Shadow Lugia. You don't count. We now have Rayquaza in the mix. Another just amazing one. <sighs> on, I gotta switch out some eggs. It, I, I just don't think anything here I don't think anything in here I'm like in love with I, I actually do like Ninjask I think Ninjask looks really good but I don't think anything in here I'm like in love with except for Rayquaza so I'm just gonna put Rayquaza here Psychic Deoxys goes hard um, but so does Gardevoir oh <laughs> what even is the question wait a minute what, what are my steel options Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what even is the question? Um, I also gotta see what my fairy options are, because Gardevoir might just go there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna be Mawile. Okay. Uh, Soul Rock is really good. I think I'm gonna give this one to Deoxys. Shiny Deoxys, it's so wild and I like, I really like it. I think it looks best with this form because it's got all the, the black in the middle. Right. What are these? Oh, bugs. I like Illumise. Not as a Pokemon, but as a shiny, I like it. It's either gonna be Illumise or Ninjask. I'm gonna give it to Ninjask. I like the gold. Rock? I actually do really like Reggie Rock Shiny. I'm gonna give it to Reggie Rock. I like Reggie Rock Shiny. I like the dark rock look on him. Uh, Lumple with the two years. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Soul Rock was close, uh, cause I do like Soul Rock. Uh, it's shiny. But, un, un, un. Okay. So, Dusclops used to have an awesome shiny. Um, they they really fucking nerfed Duskull and Dusclops. They used to be bright red like that, and they looked awesome. But then once they got into the later gens, for some reason they like muted the red, and it's like a weird grayish red now. 
And like, so just seeing it here, it looks awesome. But I know what it really looks like. And it's not good. I'm giving it to Shuppet. I like Shuppet's teal color. It's really pretty. I'll tell you, Latias has an awesome shiny, but I'm going to give this one to Flygon. God, as much as I hate him, I think I'm going to give this to Nuzly. I think the bright orange looks so good on him. And I hate Nuzly. <sighs> Doing it. Best starter, starter given to Septile. I think Septile rocks it. Oh my god, Mega Gardevoir though. Oh, but Primal Kyogre. Mega Ray Ray is also just awesome. This sucks. <laughs> this one sucks. I love Black Primal Kyogre. It looks so good. So good. Uh, definitely Breakways I've taken the legendary spot. Best shiny of the gen. Has to go to Metagross. Metagross is shiny is another just top tier shiny. It popped off with it. It's so good. Uh, laughing man. Welcome back for your 14th month. Gen 4. Normal types. <laughs> I kind of like Regigigas. I kind of like Chatot. I think Chatot's got a pretty nice shiny. I don't think I'm in love with Strawberry Nesquik. You know, I don't like Piss God. I'm going Reggie Gigas. I don't love it, but out of those, I, it's the one I like the most. Um, he train can fuck right off. With purple eyes or whatever. Uh, Chimchar. Um, It's all kind of blow. <laughs> I honestly might give it to Rotom. I, I 
the, they all kind of suck. My boy. I love, I love Blurtle. But, I don't know if he's the best looking. I love him, but I don't know if he's the best looking here. Shaman's really nice. Oh man, Leafeon. Roserade's fantastic. And Tangrowth is really good for the same reasons I like Tangela. It's probably Shaman. I'm gonna go with this. I like Shaman Landform. I mean, yeah. It's got a Luxray. Gold Luxray. So good. Am I really going to put a different Rotom here? <laughs> oh, man. Like, Obama Snow isn't bad. It's just not great. I'm putting Rotom. Um, dude, Lucario Shiny is pretty wild. I also do like the teal on Toxicroak. For some reason, I, I don't love the yellow color on... Lucario, but I really like it on Riolu. I think it looks really good on Riolu, but it just doesn't work for Lucario for some reason. So I think I'm going to give this one to Riolu. I don't know why I think that, even though I do really like the uh, Toxicroak line. Their shinies are really good too, but that I, I, I like the pop. I like the pop. Dude, Scroopy be going hard here. <sighs> um, I might change this depending on what the dark arp options are. Oh, there's some really good ones coming up. All right, I'm gonna give this one to Scrooby for now. Ooh, shiny Gliscor. Hell yeah, so good. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. I feel like I'm gonna pick Rotom or Shaman again. <laughs> Driftlim's not bad. Like, Drifloon and Driftlim aren't bad. Hmm. <sighs> I do like that Yanmega is, like, really different with the blue. I just don't... I don't know. I don't love it. I don't know what it is about it. I think I'm doing Shaman again. <laughs> I think I'm doing another Shaman.
Uh, Psychic. Ooh, Cresselia. Cresselia's got a good shiny. Yeah, Cresselia. Bug? See, here's the thing. Do I want to put Skroopy here? And then put Toxicroak here? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I feel good about that. Um... you done okay i it, like maybe again maybe controversial i don't love giratina shinies i don't like it because if it looked more gold I think I would like it. But it doesn't to me. It looks like a weird faded yellow. It looks it looks like he's like weirdly jaundiced and naked. Nitto Rich with the 20 months, thank you. Yeah, it's like a weird beige. And like, I don't, I don't love that. So I'm going Spiritomb because I do love Spiritomb shiny. Um, what the fuck is this thing? What the hell is what, what up with this Dialga? Um... Oh, it's from Mystery Dungeon? Uh, well, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Regardless. Uh, this one's going to Gabite. Gabite's got a good shiny. Ooh, dark rye. That dark purple dark rye, though. Let's give it to dark rye. What is this one? Steel. Oh, yuck. Um, I don't love any of these. Uh, Dialga's okay. I could give it to Dialga. I can give it to Dialga. It's okay. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Just out of protest. <laughs> Just out of protest for what Toga Kiss is. Ugh. All right, starter is. I mean, out of these, it's gonna go to Turtwig. Gimmick form. Ooh. Once again, see, shiny Garchomp, shiny Mega Garchomp fixed what, like, what was wrong. With real, with, like, regular Garchomp. But I don't know if it did it in the best way. <laughs> I appreciate that it's not just the same, but I think they, sh I think they should have just gone black. Like, I know that's like a always an easy option, but I think they should have gone black. 
on Mega Garchomp. Like, that would have been insane. Um, I'm going Gallade. Mega Gallade looks great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the simplest is best. Shaman. Favorite from this gen? My personal favorite from this generation is Spiritomb. is so hard to do at the same time as shiny hunting <laughs> so it's so difficult guys just saying there were two rotom there there were two rotom there but that wasn't out of my love for rotom that was out of necessity okay the fuck is happening <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um What do you think, Braviary? I don't know what's happening down here. I'm ignoring it. Oh, Braviary. What the hell is am I looking at? Uh, ooh, Victini Shiny. Chandelure. Embor. Dude, Embor. Embor's so good. I'm, that shiny is so clean. These are all kind of shitty garbage. Do do do. Do 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 do. Don't like any of the mods. They all kind of suck when it comes to color. They all kind of suck with how they look. All kind of suck when it comes to color. I don't know what to choose now. Um, <laughs> Temple, maybe? Actually, no. I like Tortuga. I like Tortuga, Shiny. I like that one. I selected someone, so now I gotta get another egg. Or just start hatching. Okay. Okay, now we got some goodies. Now we got some good ones on this fucking thing again. Um. Okay, we got Amoongus. We got Lilligant. Both very good. Maractus is very good. Um. Superior is pretty pretty good. Cottony and Whimsicott, I like. Um, there's some good options here. I'm leaning Lilligant. Like, the blue just looks so good on Lilligant. But, but here's the thing with Cottony. When you see Cottony, like, in the 3D games, in the same way that, like, they ruined Dusclops, Cottony looks great. 
And shiny cottony looks awesome in 3D. Um, but I'm giving it to Lilligan. I like it. That's just Iron Thorns. Okay. Electros, probably. I pick Teal Mons like every time. <laughs> I just think they I just think it looks so good. Gonna be cryogonal or QRM. Um, QRM's kind of cool, but I really like. I really like cryogonal shiny. I'm gonna go cryogonal. I have to. I have to go with my gut. You know, that's the whole point of this. That's just a dude. <laughs> dude, I can't get over how weird Scrafty Shiny is. Like, I I always forget that that's what he looks like. Um you know what? I'm giving this one to Embor and I'm going back. And I'm going to give this one to Chandelure. I actually do really like Garboder's shiny. Scolipede is a bit much for me. It's a bit much. It's two very loud colors next to each other. It's like when it's like when Rooster Teeth introduced their new logo. It's that. It's very intense. And it's it's a bit too much for me. So I'm between Garboder and Amoongus. And again, sometimes the simple just works. Going Amoongus. This is ground. Um, for this, the reasons I stated before, I don't think I can go with Excadrill. It looks like those two, they just don't work together. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go go lurk, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Golurk. All right, what do we got here? Flying. Ooh. I actually really like um, Sigilyph's shiny. I think Sh Sigilyph has a really good shiny. I'm gonna pick that. Okay. 
Uh, Victini? Is Victini gonna get this one? Yeah. Victini. Ooh, Genesect. Ooh, red Genesect. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I gotta make it. I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't, I can't help it. I can't stop myself. Uh, oh, Gigalith. Dude, Gigalith's shiny. So good. It's so good. Oh, fuck. Look at this thing. Okay, what is... Was there another Firemon I thought looked really good? I like Heatmore's shiny, actually. I think Heatmore has a good shiny. Alright, Heatmore, you're now... You're now there. Chandelure goes here. Oh, Haxorus. Easy. I don't even know why I was thinking about that for so long. Um, okay. Dark... Zerua, though. Zerua. Looks really good. Nah. Yeah. Zerua. <laughs> Dude, this is so weird. Sub bomb incoming. M. Shmemanem. Thank you for the 10 sub sub bomb. Thank you so much. I'm gonna give this one to Bisharp. I'm gonna give this one to Cotney. I prefer it over Wimscott. I think this is too dark a brown, and like you lose some of like the details of Wimscott. I think it looks better in 3D, but. Embor. What is this gimmick form? Sex easy. Okay, now the question. Is it going to? I'm between three. Is it going to Embor? Is it going to Haxorus? Is it going to Genesect? I think I'm going to give it to Genesect. It looks so good. Haxorus is great, but I just think there are other Pokemon that do black shinies better than Haxorus does. I think Rayquaza and Charizard, like, handle black shinies so well. Like, Haxorus looks aw awesome, but no one else pulls off the red quite like Genesect does. Normal. I kind of like black fur fruit. Oh. Helio Heliolith just looks sunburned. Um, I'm going to give it to Furfru. This almost feels like cheating. Dude, Volcanion Shiny is so wild. Look at that. I'm giving this one to Fennekin. I like Shiny Fennekin. Oh. Oh. I might have to change those later, but. A little pretzel mouse.
I barely have to think about these ones. She just did not want to give me another egg. Again, not fair. That goes really hard. I like it. I don't know what the hell is up with this brown Mewtwo here, but... Going off instinct. It's, it feels like cheating, but I, I'm just, I, I'm going off of what they're presenting me. Fuck, I want to pick Age of Slash again. There we go. Wow, they don't do Salazzle justice here. Salazzle has an awesome shiny. Honestly, so does Oricoria. Ash Greninja, come on. Oh, Zara Aura is shiny. So good. Purple. I unironically really like uh, Buzzle shiny. <laughs> I I love it. I think it's so weird that they're like, "What do we change?" And they're like, "Nothing. Just cover them in neon green." Yeah, like weird Bane mosquito. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, Naganadal looks so good, or Naganadale, or whatever it is. I think it's Naganadale. Dude, Lunala goes so hard. 
Shiny Lunala is like insanity. Is there something I liked more than Buzzwall back here? Not really. <laughs> uh, Shiny Bike Vault's kind of cool. The silver. Oh, Lycan Rock. Hell yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Dusk form looks so good. I don't want to repeat if I can avoid it. But I don't know if I can avoid it. No, you know what? Here, this decision why you can go here and I'll put Delmise here. This Sigui is pretty good. I don't love any of these. I'm gonna put Naganadel there, and then over here we're gonna put let's put Let's put Litten here. And then here we'll put. Wait. Here we'll put Salazzle. Yes. And then there. Okay, cool. Got it. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, none of these are great. Uh, I might give it to Muck. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like... I'm gonna put Ash Greninja here. I know it's like, whatever. Uh, I like Stack Attack and Shiny. It's so wild. I like it. It's wild in a good way. What is this? Fairy. It's gonna go to one of the Tapus. But which Tapu? They all look really good. It's not Bulu. Bulu's the least good looking. It's mm, it's probably either Tapu Coco or Tapu Fini. I think the black works really well with them. Uh, I like Tapu Fini. The black. Oh, it's good. Fina. Fina. Uh, best starter. Probably Decidueye. Yeah. Best gimmick form. Don't love any of them. Ninetales. Uh, best legendary Lunala. It's gotta be. Shiny Lunala is just way too good. So good. That Blood Moon Shiny. Fuck yes. Yeah, Sun. You're all kind of bad. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's do Hisui and Typhlosion. I, I like that they make the colors like regular Typhlosion. There are some times that that doesn't work, like Farfetch'd. Um, but there are other times that it does work. And I think that's one of them. Ooh. Ooh. We got 
got some good ones. Dude, am I really gonna give this one to Cramorant? <laughs> We'll give it to the one eating the Pikachu. Dude, again, simple goes so such a long way. Apple. Green apple, dude. It's like, it's just, it works so well. This is gonna go to Voltorb. Uh, Hisuian Avalog actually looks pretty dang good. With the orange. Grappalocked, dude. Grapple. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Grappalocked is so good. Ooh, I actually really like uh, Sneasel as well. Mm. Probably Gengar. Because I don't love any of the other ones. Uh, I think Runarigus is kind of cool. Shiny Runarigus. Alright, so the, the Galarian birds are here now. And shiny Corviknight's also kind of cool. I don't know. Galarian Articuno rocking those original Articuno colors looks so good. This is a tough one. Um, I think Corviknight's probably gonna win in the steel category. I'm giving it to Galarian Articuno. Okay, I also was holding off for as long as I could. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be right back. It has been decided that a bathroom break must happen.
I'm back. And a significant amount lighter than I was. at get to orb eagle sub bomb incoming i'll take it back from orb eagle you can go here uh braviary sure mm, i kind of like i kind of like dreadnought shiny not too bad drag pole shiny's great Is there a better option? I kind of like Corsola Shiny. Oh, Basket Legion's got a good Shiny. We'll do Basket Legion. Mm, White Grim Snarl. Silver Thievel. TJ Turtle, thank you. Thank you for the five sub sub bomb. Very much appreciated. Uh... Evil. I like it. Ooh, Zashin's shiny though. Ah, Corviknight. Oh, of course. Oh my god, wait, where was this? Was this under Ghost as well? Oh my god, that's uh, no contest. Holy shit. What are we even talking about? No, never mind, you go there. I don't know how I missed that. Oh my god. Mouse hold, guys. Ooh, I haven't seen shiny gouging fire yet. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I like it. All right. Now we got some characters. <laughs> now we got some characters. Palafin. Um... It sucks. I'm picking a lot of Pokemon that are shiny locked, but Wo Chien looks great. Oh, so does freaking Maridon looks so good, shiny. Picking so many shiny locked Pokemon.
Okay. Uh, it's a Titan. Oh, yeah, it's a Titan. It's a Titan. Um, I don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> sure, stop, stop looking at me. Okay. Iron Leaves looks pretty good. I actually don't mind low kicks as shiny. It looks better in game than it does there. Oh, those are all not good. Ah, uh, Slitherwing. Uh, Cloth. Again, that picture is not doing it justice. The hell do you want from me list like I guess pink skeledurge it's either that or green flutter main sure Here, Diplink can have this one. I like that they went yellow with it. So it's like a like a toffee apple or whatever. Rather than a a green apple. Uh King Gambit's so good. Oh jeez. She used better than Gouging Fire. And then King Gamut's better than, yeah. Sorry, Gouging Fire. Love Orthworm Shiny, looks great. Uh, Iron Valiant Shiny's pretty good. They all are not good. <laughs> uh, you. It's gotta be, it's gotta be Coridon. Best shiny of this generation. Am I really gonna put a shiny we can't even get yet? Yes, I am. Shiny Coridon is so good. Ugh. How often do I do these type of subathons? Too often. You know, a couple months from now, I'll be like, oh, you know, I could do another one. And I don't listen to that voice that's like, are you a fucking idiot? What do you mean? Hey, yo, but money. Money, though. All right. Now the best of the best. The best normal type shiny. Hands down. It's Hui and Zoroark. Easy. Easy. 
Easy, easy, easy. Best normal type shiny. Best fire type shiny. Is going to go to a shiny we can't get yet. Shiny Chiyu. Oh. Shiny Chiyu, it's so good. The best water type shiny. It's got to be Greninja. Got to be Greninja. The best grass type shiny. Ooh. Oh. Trev. It's got to go to Trevenant. The best electric type shiny. Voltorb. I love you so much. I'm giving this to Luxray. I love you, Voltorb, and you know that. The best ice type shiny. None of them are great. <laughs> I I think it's subtle, but it works. Alola Nine Tails. The best fighting type shiny. Wow, there's some good ones in there. Also Machoke. Um, I'm going to give it to Embor. The best poison type shiny. This one's... This one's tough. Uh, Draxalith. Welcome back for your fourth month. This one's tough. Uh, because my initial reaction is that I want to go Nidoking. But then, I think... Salazzle... Salazzle Shiny is way better than it looks here. Salazzle has an excellent shiny, but like just pictured here, it doesn't look good. Because it's it's much more of a crisp white than what they're showing here. And then Gengar looks so good. But I almost feel like I Gengar's looks so good to me because I know of how bad it could be. I'm going with Nitto King. My gut says Nitto King. I'm doing it. Score. Dude, Glasgow's shiny is just it looks too good. Oh Yikes. Equaza. <laughs> Lunala Genesect <sighs> Gigalith Oh 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Age of Slash. It has to be Age of Slash. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna decide right now that I'm not giving this to Mega Rayquaza. I put Rayquaza here. I'm not giving it to Mega another spot. That one's out. I'm not gonna be picking Dragonair, Kingdra, Gabite. I'm right now. I'm between. I'm not gonna be picking Flygon. I'm between Haxorus and Dragapult. I really like Dragapult Shiny. It's another one that's subtle, but I think looks so good. Like... You know what? I'm going... I'm going Dragapult. The only reason I'm going Dragapult over Haxorus is... I feel like... Like, with Black Shinies, there's sometimes that they look really good without looking like they're trying to be, like, edgy. And I feel like Haxorus skirts that line. Of, like, it looks cool, but... You know, it looks like it's trying too hard. <laughs> to look cool. Um... Dark type now. Ooh. I so I'm between Umbreon and Zerua for the same reasons cuz they're very similar shinies. But the colors just work so well together. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna say it. I think Zerua Shiny's better than Umbreon's. I think Zerua rocks it better than Umbreon. <laughs> Umb! Metagross. Uh, pff, get me out of here. Um. Ooh. Ooh. I'm between Gardevoir and Tapu Fini. I I. Uh, Xerneas is really pretty, but those, when you put those two colors together, it gets too toothpaste for me. Like, for some reason, it works with Gardevoir. I think because there isn't that much, like... The blue isn't as prominent. Gardevoir, Tapu Fini. I'm gonna go Gardevoir. There's something in my throat, sorry. Like a hair or something. <laughs> Best starter? I gotta give it to Embor. I just think Embor's shiny is so good. 
I don't like I don't even like Embor. Like I <laughs> I do not like Embor. Best gimmick mon. Hisuian Zor Zor or Zoroark. It's so good. It's so good. Best legendary. Now here we are. There are four contenders here. Rayquaza, Genesect, Lunala, and Coridon. And here's what I'm going to say. Two of those are black, two of those are red. I think Lunala looks better in red than Genesect. Like it pulls it pulls the red off better than Genesect does. So Genesect's eliminated. And I think Coridon rocks the black better than Rayquaza does. Which is saying a lot, but I think it does. So now it's Lunala or Coridon. Lunala. Has to be, you know. I, 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 it, the blood moon, like that blood moon, dude. Which, and so looking at this, my overall favorite shiny. Now, the last time I did one of these quizzes, I went with Trevenant. Wow. Looking at these again, it's going to be something with either red or blue in it. So I'm eliminating like Alola Ninetales. I'm eliminating uh, Trevenant, even though he was my favorite last time. All right, it's not going to be Voltorb, Umbreon, Metagross. It's not going to be Spiritomb. I think my favorite shiny Pokemon. is Hisuian Zoroark. It's so good. It's so good. The decision was made. Yeah, this site's got a lot of stuff. All right. Back, back to full attention here. to this
as we hit egg 400. All of these ducks. All right, we hit 400. Again, that's not like, that's not an insane number. You know, like. 400 isn't, isn't crazy. Yeah, still under the odds. And like, I got uh, my shiny Golette in the 400s. I think the second Ponyta was like near the 400s. Yeah, 700 range is, is, like, once you're in there, it's kind of like, all right, come on. Um, how many spaces do I have left, actually? Not many. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, let's not forget the damn Meowth Hunt. Don't worry, I don't think I'll ever be able to forget that. Try as I might. Yeah, Piss Cat was a whole... Oh. We had some rough ones this... This, uh... This subathon. But that's to be expected. With shiny hunting. A lot of egg hunting ones. Yes, absolutely. Well, those ones are always the ones that take the longest. Well, that's not true. Uh, encounter ones would will take longer. Like hard, you know, hard reset, or just like running into it.
So once um this box is filled. Once this box is filled with uh eggs, then we'll just hatch them all. And see I wanna reset, but I think I saved like with a bunch of eggs, so I might have to do I might have to release them all. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bunch of eggs that I can't get rid of until I hatch, and I know they're not shiny. Uh, the subathon is... yeah. It's it's just when I feel like doing one. And I thought the shiny thon would be a fun idea. Well, it's not over yet. Come on, far fetched. Come on, buddy. Let me out of this hell. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me the shiny. I want you to I want you to shine. I want you to do it. So, yeah, like, because, honestly, if we get Shiny Farfetch'd, there's currently, like, six hours-ish left in the subathon. You know, an hour would come off right away. It'd be down to five. And then a lot of the following hunts are, like, quite a bit easier. So that's when it would suddenly become, like, a competition. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, I'll get a shiny antique Sinistu at some point. They're not as bad as they used to be to get.
Uh, last subathon went for 23 days. But I also didn't have any way of fighting back. Blue who? Welcome back to your 10th month. Oh, sorry you've had a rough day. Hopefully I can make it better. She was saying we just beat you to a pulp that subathon? Yeah, basically. Pretty, pretty much that's what happened, yeah. <laughs> we beat you to a pulp with money. That is true. That is very accurate. We're fast approaching a purge. <laughs> a duck purge. Woo! <laughs> Uh, the cult. Thank you for the five sub sub bomb. Thank you very much. We hit you with pie, with payday. PA day, I almost said. Yeah. Luckily though, once um we filled the other box with eggs, we don't have to like go in a circle here and just ride around wherever. How many non-shinies have been relegated to the garbage? Too many. Too many to count. Many a Pokemon have fallen. So many, so many ducks thrown away. Such a waste of, of perfectly good food.
Come on, come on. This is it's got to be in the 400s. I got a feeling. I got a feeling that it's going to be in the Oh, we're at 420. So I can only pick up seven more eggs and then the box is full. Six more eggs. Five more eggs. Four more eggs. Three more eggs. Two more eggs. Oh. <laughs> you know, I honestly might still just reset uh, the game and see how far back that. See how many eggs I have left over. I still think it might be faster. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me again. Oh, shit. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. Wolf of Shades pulling from the bag of tricks. Get those hours, pack up over six. Now I'm sitting here for all this time. And today, this is the first rhyme that I've had to do. Thank you, Wolf of Shades. And well, less than 100 from another giveaway. Incoming. All right, only one more egg after this. <laughs> Another 12 subs after that. Wolf of Shades, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right. An even 600. Wow. God damn.
Yeah, make sure to uh, thank Wolf of Shades if you got a sub. No more picking up eggs. Now we just hatch. Now we ride. <laughs> and we just hope for that shiny Galarian far fetched. We'll get there. We'll get it. We'll get it. Is it going to take forever? Possibly. Yeah, so in Sword, uh, Glaren Farfetch will spawn right there. And will spawn down here. So you can, like, get eggs from the daycare and encounter Glaren Farfetch. Which would be awesome, but... We are in shield. Yeah. Oh, bring it in. <laughs> oh, we hit the 700s. Nice. I should get lunch soon. so cute like when you eat snacks like a little squirrel <laughs> um do we have any factors that sound good ah uh, ah uh. <laughs> your hands are so cold jesus christ um do you feel like maybe heating one up for me? Thanks, ma'am. I was grooving too much and I kicked my computer, my pinky toe.
Anki. Anki. Well, we just decided that my favorite is Hisui and Zoroark, and I don't know what my least favorite is. Gengar, I guess. Hi, cat. Oh boy, guys. This stupid duck. Still under odds. Barely. Is your dad still here? Okay. No, I was gonna ask you to do something on stream. Cause I filled out a, a whole sheet of all, like every, I went through every shiny Pokemon and like picked my favorite from each generation and stuff. And I was gonna see if you wanted to do it. Okay. And then like I could catch I keep hatching Farfetch while you do it. Yeah. What did she heat me up? Garlic butter chicken thighs. That sounds yum. side of that
What would you say has been the worst shiny hunt farm you have done to date on stream or off stream? Uh, meow. Uh, Alola Meowth is the worst. By far. Atkins, I could at least take a break. So this is with quinoa pilaf, roasted mushrooms, and a squash medley. couple weeks of blurtle streams are wild yeah but at least like that hunt like i did shiny hunting for that for blurtle off stream too like i happened to get it on stream which is awesome but like i did a lot of shiny hunting off stream as well like while i was watching something or like you know just not on camera and that like makes the shiny hunts they're like so much better when you don't feel like you have to be running a stream while you're shiny hunting, you know what I mean? And like just non-stop. Uh, bookish haunts would be eight months. Thank you. I don't know. I it's not worth thinking about the next subathon right now. <laughs> I do shiny hunt casually, yeah. But I'll try to I'll try to make sure I stream more of it in the future as like train stations and shit. Remember those? Remember train stations? Dude, old school. All right, last five before the purge. Uh, it will probably be two days. I'll probably take a two-day break before streaming again. Like, I know I should take more than that, but I don't think... I don't think my anxiety will let me do that. Dynamax streams are fun. 
I, I wish we could have gotten to Dynamax raids. But there were too many egg hunts. See what? Uh, oh, a piece of squash just went down there. Too many egg hunts to get caught up on. Alright, this might be the last one before the purge. I forget. It's either this or the next one. Yep. Goodbye. Let's see. Let's see how many are still here. Because I saved... I know I saved it before we played Spyro. So anything I hatched before then... Is still gonna be in here. See, these are the ponytail eggs. <laughs> these are those five random ponytail eggs. <laughs> so I already know these all aren't shiny. So, what I'll do is fuck around on this menu for a while. And then... Select all these. Put them here. Like that. And then when we're actually in the game, I'll put like I'll I'll put a Pokemon where the last egg is. That way, like, I know where the cutoff is. Can't delete eggs. Sucks. They should just give the option and have a message pop up like, You know, oh, the wild Pokemon took in your egg or something. You know what I mean? Like,
Hey, congrats on the shiny Murkra. Listen, I said I felt like it was going to be in the 400s. I had a feeling. We still have 50 more eggs. before I'm completely wrong. There's a sparkle. Right here, it would sparkle. So like, he'll pop out of the egg. He'll do his little animation. Right? And then when he goes back to his base position, there will be another, there will be a flash of sparkles. She's being stingy with the eggs, though. Thanks, Flux Deluxe. That's two things that rhyme with ducks. I have drama now. How many eggs do I have? She's giving me like none. A three. Can't even do another full batch. Oh fuck! Get down! It's a stop now! 
Will, thank you for the 25 sub sub nuke. Palindrome action? But can you name three mons whose names are palindromes? Eevee, Giraffe Reg, Farigaraf. Easy money. <laughs> Hello, Mamola. Yeah, there's another one. Hello. Hello, got gifted a sub despite not following or never been to your stream before. Hell yeah. Welcome. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Welcome in. We're looking for a slightly different colored duck. How many Pokemon with foreign numbers in their English names can you name? What does that mean? What is a foreign number? Oh, are you saying Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres? <laughs> okay, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, that's all Spanish. Then you've got Dino, Zvilus, and Hydreigon, that's German. And uh, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> yeah, eins zwei drei. Dino, Zvilus, High Dragon. We, we've talked about, like, the, the, some of the Pokemon naming conventions that, like, people are like, oh, I didn't ever even consider that, you know? Like, we've talked before about Saw's Buck, you know, like, that... It's named, like, a buck is a male deer, obviously, but then, like, saws, S-A-W-S, is, uh, summer, autumn, winter, spring.
right? Like, once you learn that, you're like, oh! YT Cosmo with the 19 with the uh, 19 months. Thank you. This is truly cursed knowledge. Thanks. Oh, I forgot to add the last five. Um, Rachel Renee, uh, welcome back for 26 months. Sure, you're all awake. I highly doubt a 1551 vinyl would ever be a thing. It's just like, there's so much that would have to go into that. This, again, this song... This song is, like, it's not an exact, um, duplicate of, but, like, Sunrise was a song that me and, and my friend Andrew, who you've... has been on the uh, stream before. But, like, Andrew and I were in a band, uh, back in high school, and the first original song we wrote was Sunrise. And then, like, so we kind of, you know, I gave the music from that song to Spencer. And I was like, what if we did this song called Sunrise? And like... And like rewrote a bunch of the, uh, like I rewrote most of the lyrics. Um, and then we got Chef Mike on the guitar. It was awesome.
Yeah, that was Chef Mike on the guitar in that song. He does two two songs. One in the first album, one in the second album. The army of a god says in front of me, fighting all the people that I'm keeping alive. Though the clan looks deep, I can keep on fighting till I'm tired or lying in a pile of bodies. I'm a robber that dare to run the rest of me. Me, think the weight on me could ever leave a bad taste for the battle and the battle and rattle in the bones of those opposed to those of stones that are raring to go and thrown down. The clock ticking away. The front line is calling my name. For democracy. This is the song that matches um, Hell Divers really well. Though this song was written originally about Master Chief. Hey, that person just donated. Thank you. When the Pokemon Chinese hunting song coming? Ah, uh, there will not be a shiny hunting song. No, thank you. Adeline, welcome back. is acting all wonky. Okay. So those, the like, hoo, hoo, like the chant that you hear, those are all me. That's just several recordings of me. Do <laughs> Doing that. To try to make a fact of why I act like I'm under attack. I react. I think we've done that a couple of times in songs. Hesitation. I just go on with the voices inside. Tell my mind is feeling right. Yeah, I know it's wrong. Yeah, I know if I'm caught. I got a knot around my neck and then dropped. But I can never stop. I was born to make a weaker man more and start stirring up a storm. Yeah, it gets me off to see him wonder how a soul could break so bad I still remain whole. But I was born this way. I was born with the flame of my hand. Uh, the 1551 music video away. has hit a hell so of a snag because I was talking to people at Rooster Teeth about insane. having Rooster Teeth make the music video. Like I'd basically like hire RT to make it. Uh, and then and then something happened. <laughs> So, <laughs> but today, we, but I did send a message to um, Daniel Fabello, and he he got back to me. I just haven't gotten back to him because like the subathon started basically when he, like right when he got back to me, or like we were just about to go into the subathon. For those who don't know, Daniel Fabello directed uh, Achievement Haunter. As well as a bunch of other things. Um, so, like, I want to talk to him 
not like just about like hey do you want to be hired like can i hire you for this but of like what is the process of of making a production like this This song took so goddamn long to get to a point where I liked it. I had to re-record it so many times and I just didn't like how it sounded. Tactician with the nine months. Thank you. Congrats on the shiny mud kip. That's awesome. Take a minute, got a story of this world and the people living in it In the back of your brain, got an inkling You think it's what they're trying to stop So you will let the method sink in World, it's just cheap and bleak To tweak and plug the leak On the freaks and make a song you need You get down, falling into a mold Of a bar that's not to only speak But it's fucking cold So don't act, keep your thoughts in the back You're a machine, pristine Not meant to question what it really means This is the norm, the way you were born Nothing good ever came from people who are misinformed So take your head not say it's okay This is how men live the same shit every day Thinking it's not true That plot isn't you Keep thinking in the only option is Yeah, don't do it, I was having a good time You could see The man that you were always meant, meant to be That fell me The man that's scared to ever let you be Set a bar and never grow Envision dreams you'll never know Unless you dedicate your life To show that you exist To break the ball Just break the Just break the Yeah, you're, you're totally right. Farfetch does look like security for Don't Do It. like, hey, hey, hey. You're supposed to be here? Huh? You, you're not in the list. Dude, one of the horde, I said the thing, I said the thing. Yeah, keep moving. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Envision 
That's what Joe Duo would say. Don't talk to me or me ever again. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son or my son's other head ever again. Stuck in a world always locked in the cold. So the expressions of robots crying, what's the crow and all? the cards you're dealt, but some never fall. Leave the forest stories, you are always true. So it's true, deep in your mind, but you would never saw. All the world that was bright with light made a solid goal. Where you are is what you cherish and always try to fall. Almost spotlight hour? What's spotlight hour tonight? Sound. The hours tick down. The fears that we fear every day come around. I can hear it in the walls. Every heavy footfall. Every look that it took at us all feels like running. I have to escape. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, for those who don't know, this song is called Breaking of Dawn. It's basically about alien isolation, right? Um, but, number one, Breaking of Dawn was also, like I said, my band in high school. We wrote Sunrise. But, you know, we were huge Linkin Park fans. And, like, for those who had Linkin Park albums, you know that, like, the first song on their album was always like an interlude thing. It'd be like forward or like, uh, I don't know. Like they, they like to do shit like that, right? So we had an interlude song into Sunrise and that was called Breaking Dawn. So like Breaking Dawn was the interlude into Sunrise. Um, so we, So when I pitched this song to Spencer, you know, I was like, oh, we can kind of reuse that name and we'll make it the Breaking of Dawn. And that way the initials would be B-O-D because uh, the song is the Ballad of Daryl. Because Daryl is the alien from Alien Isolation. So it's the Breaking of Dawn, but it's also the Ballad of Daryl. <laughs> real 1551 fans know the real name. Well, because, like, while the song is being worked on and Spencer is sending me cuts of the music and whatnot, uh, it, he just had it as B.O.D. He was like, B.O.D. and then whatever the date was. Because it was written as the Ballad of Daryl. And then, like, you know, I built the song kind of around that. That it took at us all feels like running. I have to escape it somehow. And I was getting the final uh, mix of this song. I'm well, not like final, but you know, very near final. Um, 
while I was doing that State Farm shoot, uh, the whole State Farm thing. So, like, I kept, you know, I was talking to Jake, right, Jake from State Farm, and, like, so I was, like, I'd be, like, talking to him, and then I'd get an email, and I'd be, like, oh, hang on, I, got, I gotta go listen to this, and I'd, like, go off and, like, be on my phone listening to it. Welcome back for your 50th month. Sub. What you said, cause now you're in the field and the threats are feeling real. Yeah, there's two types of people. There's some people who will wait until there's like 10 minutes left and then they'll slam a, like a huge sub nuke. And then there's some people who will wait until the timer has run out and then they'll do a sub nuke. Why do they wait? So that, because they want to contribute, but they don't want to add to the time. Psycho Streetheart, thank you for the two subs up If you're under an hour and acquire a shiny, does the subathon just end? Yes. Uh, though I don't get to take the hour off until I put the Pokemon into Pokemon Home. Dutch Vanderlyn, Arthur, I got a plan, Arthur. Think again, you thought a friend can't do it all as you wait and watch that fall. You reel them in, begging cat calling, till the time that you turn your back on them. You play it tight, keep your friends in check, step the back of the second they suspect. You play an act of the soul that you bought, getting high off the thought that you can't be caught. I can't believe that I ever felt safe here, we can breathe the sweet plea in my ear, and I know that I'm I wanna know how you played me so effectively Like no but no wars Another part for your cause Because I'm just the prank card in your claws The ego trip spilling like the biggest pussy villain You had your keys when you knew you couldn't fit I was a fool of mystery and took the singles down to see I never thought I was down in a shot with the enemy 
My dilemma with buying more kitten baits, I don't want to add time. It's fine. Silver tongue hit words like a dagger. Don't hold off on getting kitten baits because of time. The way that people see you, like black glass, only you can see through. Pull the strings like a puppeteer with a near ring. My five, my uh, in the 400s prediction is not looking great. We have five more. Well, four more. Oh, it's been a lot for Kat. Like, so her dad is here now helping her. Um, and, like, once I'm done with the subathon, I'll be able to help. But she just came in to tell me she was under 800 orders to still pack and ship out. And she's been working nonstop, so. It's a lot. One of the kitten fates. Kitten fates are a. Uh, it's a pack of stickers that you can get from Julie Noted Merch. And it's. It's uh, five different stickers, one of each of our cats, but um, each, each one has a 10% chance to be a shiny uh, version of that cat. And the sticker itself is holographic and stuff. Oh, yeah, they're called, yeah, they're called Kitten Fates, because it's a pun on Hidden Fates, which is a Pokemon card set that has shiny Pokemon in it. I still love this song. I, I, I don't really like Break the Mold anymore. But that's kind of the problem with any sort of... Uh, anyone who does any sort of art knows that feeling of like... Falling out of love with some of your old work. When I try, but my mind wouldn't let me decide what to find me, define me, but now I'm fighting. I'm the monster that I always used to be. Not the cough and the talk that's affecting. I can help those like me. They try and they climb for the pistol, they will die beside me. It's a second chance to live. I'm trying to prove I still got good again. I'll pass what I know to be another chance to redeem in the beast that's living in me. I can turn this all around. Play my feet back deep in the solid ground. The final straw's now piling on. I can hear my back breaking, but I'm making the pain feel gone. Uh, yeah, I still have fun. Inspiring name. If I wasn't having fun doing it, I wouldn't do it. The 
last breath leaving me with a shot for the sun can't reach me when i think i'm too low when my mind's browse out of control there's nothing left giving up and then no another monster i used to be another call for the dark that's affecting the final straws now piling on i can hear my back breaking but i'm maybe the pain feel good on the brink of the death i'm rising up again the shackles dragging me down finally shattering from the brink of the end i'm starting up again the man i was when i fell is screaming out of my head it's a whole new life for me opportunity is where my mind can be when it feels like everything's gone they can fight the thoughts i gotta keep on trucking along i can turn this all around let my feet back deep in the solid ground the solid draws out while i know Hell yeah. Uh, oh, this is the other song Chef Mike is on. Chef Mike on the guitar. Here he goes. Here's where Chef Mike really goes off. Definition, let that man cook. I haven't listened to this song in a really long time. This song started so different than what it eventually became.
were not in our favor. What's my favorite Midwest state? I haven't really been to any Midwestern states. I also am very unsure of what counts. Now's the time for Farfetch to show up. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. And I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Come on, Farfetch, now's the perfect time. Don't let this opportunity slide away. With courage I will face. I will battle every day to claim my rightful place. Come with me, the time is right. There's no better team. On and on, we'll win the fight. It's always been a dream. All right, you fucked it. <laughs> you fucked it, Farfetch.
my perspective, the far fetched for evil. See, and you know what? I am happy with how that song came out. But here, I'm gonna play this. I mean, it will get my video flagged, but I don't give a fuck, whatever. I won't be able to monetize it. <laughs> That's fine. And if I get in trouble, I'll, I'll just message Jonathan. <laughs> We just saw each other the other day. Well, not the other day, like, like a month ago. Now here's what's fucking awesome about this song, right? That's the original singer of the Pokemon theme. Yeah, they teamed up and did this. So good! Jonathan Young. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain you can find it on Spotify. Like the high notes that he can hit. Um, on, what, he, Jason Page. That's the original singer. The high notes he can hit are so wild. So good. Like, God damn. So good. Um, Jonathan Young does some absolutely incredible. Um, some like incredible covers and his original music is is awesome as well.
that was um yeah like so i was at pax and um this other musician um bobby bass he he has like he has an instagram page um cat just sent me the instagram page of uh the dot bobby bass and like cat followed him before any of this right and had shown me his videos we were at pax and he comes up to me he's like hey you're like are you jeremy and and i was like yeah i am and he was like hi you know it's great to meet you and we were like talking um and like so we were talking he was like yeah i was just here like walking around like with you know we were checking out pax so i was like with the you know with my friend like john and i looked over and it was jonathan young and i was like oh like Jonathan, he's like, "Hey, Jeremy," and we like, we we're like, "Hey, what's up, dude?" And like, you know, we got a picture. It was like, it was so weird. Like the whole interaction was so. <laughs> yeah, his voice is insanely deep. It's aw It's like. It it's so it's so cool. People who have that super bassy voice are are like, it's awesome. I miss you and Jonathan and Pax. I'm crying. Yeah, well, so he messaged me a, a long time ago when he released his his um, original music album. And he was like, hey, I want to send you my album if you, like, want to listen to it. And and I was like, yeah, sure. And so, like, Kat and I were, like, rocking to it. Um, I forget if the album is called Best Band in the Universe. Like, I know that song's on there. Um, I forget if that's the name of the album as well. Um but if you if you haven't heard that song yet it's it's so good the like to kraken is that the album or starship or is it Star oh no it might be starship Blaster. i think glad to kraken is his like newer album oh, man. i can't remember Best band in the universe rock so hard it fucking hurts also, the music video um, for that song, it's Starship Velociraptor. Okay, yeah. The the music video for that song is animated by Shucheru, who does a lot of animations for Game Grumps and animates a lot of um, Ninja Sex Party videos as well. So everything's all connected. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got a lot of... He's got a lot of really good covers. This is another one. Hold on, I'm going to play another one of his songs. Hopefully he doesn't mind this. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. But I just want to introduce people to these because they're so good. Um, this one is one of my favorites. So good. Opening the wound and picking me apart again. God, his voice is so good. You are awesome. I'm safe here in my room. Unless I try to start a girl. I don't want to be the one that battles over. Like that voice, right? Oh my god. The note he hits here is so good. Eh? God, the like going up on that note is like sounds so good. Clutching my cure. Uh, I tightly lock the 
door and try to catch my breath again. Backing vocals. Oh my god. Cut the music. Oh. Oh. Go up on that note. He nails this part too. Like he's hitting the notes, but like keeping it in his range and his style. Yeah, he's got that, that growl perfectly. Oh, and then this part, ready? Oh, the harmonization there! So good! God, like that talent, it like, it takes so much talent to be able to take a, like an iconic song like that and make that like, I don't know. And d do what he did with it. It's so fucking, it's so awesome. And like he, um, he collabs with a couple of different people. Um, some of which like you saw like with, um, the, you know, the Pokemon theme song, right? It's like they're in different uh different styles or like different ranges. Um Hey that person just donated that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hey Jeremy, Hi. today's my birthday and I just wanted to say thanks for all the entertainment. Keep up the good work, bitch. Oh thank you. And uh, Nodak Taylor, thank you for gifting a sub. Um, yeah, Caleb Hiles is is another. Caleb Hiles, I mean, you talk about range. Caleb's range is is ridiculous. Um, he also uh, he uh, collabed with a uh, guitarist, uh, Toxic Eternity, um, like as a. A guitarist that does covers and they did um a cover of arabian sub nights from aladdin lanterns with the five sub sub bomb thank you um and there's some notes that jonathan hits in that one that like chills like every time chills No, no, no. Start from the beginning. And then, ready? Shut oh. bomb incoming. Oh, I come from a land from a faraway place with a care. Rattling rock. Thank you. Well, it's flat and immense and the heat is intense. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. Oh, that low! Ready? 
He gets a good growl on moons. Ready? Here it comes. Oh! Oh! So good! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, this is Jonathan Young. And Toxic Eternity on the guitar. Fucking hell, dude. Like... Oh... So good. He's a lot, he's he's fucking awesome. No, that that gives me um Yeah, no, that that one gives me chills as well. There's just something about like the bend of the guitar behind those notes and everything that's just like it it gets me. It gets me good every time. There are certain songs that um like every time I listen to them will like they they can just manage to give me chills. Awkward awkward silence. Listen, I can't have shit like constantly going on. You know, I'm doing what I can. You know what? This is another video that, like, gives me chills in a good way, like, every time. Uh, I'm going to turn it down, though, because I know this will be, like, loud as fuck. Hang on. Oh, that's not, that's not the one, though. So this is Papa Roach's like doing a live show, right? So this is the Papa Roach song forever. Beautiful, amazing voice. And keep in mind, this is short. This is like not long after Chester Bennington passed away. So good. Oh, every time that one that one hits me so hard. Every time. Oh. So good. Oh, and like I can't imagine like God, being up there performing that, that must be so heavy. You know what I mean? Like, at that time. Like, god damn. 
and to like keep it to keep it together and and sing through that holy shit man you gotta be you gotta be tough for that uh okay all right here let's get some let's get some in-game sound for a little bit <sighs> haven't had that in a while Uh, hopefully it's not four times over odds. Uh, hopefully it's just slightly over odds. That'd be nice. Did I ever see Lincoln Park live? Yes, I saw them live three times. I think I've I think I've seen Lincoln Park three times. Yeah. I went to two different Project Revolutions, and um, I, I went to I went to one I went to one show that was. Oh man, I don't remember who opened. I want to say it was Flyleaf. Was like the very first band. I don't know, maybe I, I can't remember. Then I know it was Coheed and Cambria, then Lincoln Park. Um Then Um went to one Project Revolution where Um So the main stage, so Lincoln Park obviously was the headliner. And I think the first Project Revolution I went to, Lincoln Park was the headliner. Right before them was My Chemical Romance. Right before them was Taking Back Sunday. And before them was Placebo. And the bravery? I think those I think they were all that show. I'm a Nikki, welcome back for your 19th month. Oh no, bravery was a different bravery was a different project revolution, because it was the bravery. Um and then Buster Rhymes. Then Chris Cornell, and then Lincoln Park. Huh? And like, since it was Project Project Revolution, like this big um, for those who don't know, that's like Lincoln, that was Lincoln Park's big, like, music festival, basically. Um, there was an outdoor stage where a bunch of bands would cycle through there, and then they'd have the main stage inside. Um, but there was some seriously good bands on that outdoor stage as well. Like, um, on that outdoor stage, we saw, uh, Mindless Self-Indulgence was on there. Fozzy, P.O.D., Seosin, Atreyu. Um, uh, Medina Lake, Hawthorne Heights. Yeah, it was like really, really good bands. I think I still have a poster. I think it's in my garage, but I think I still have a Fozzie poster that's signed by, like, I, I met 
uh, Jericho and he signed it for me. I think I still have that. What are your top five bands? That's really hard because my mood s swings in terms of music constantly. Um, probably Three Days Grace. Uh, Three Days Grace is probably number one. Adelie This Way is probably number two. Man, I don't know. You know, I don't listen to a ton of their music, but the songs I do listen to, like, I will never skip. Um, and that's Sylar, or Sylar. It's, they literally end one song by saying it's pronounced Sylar, not Sylar. Um, Sylar's super good. Um... Man, I really like 6AM as well. 6AM's gotta be up there. And then probably... Lincoln Park? Yeah. Ever listened to a band called Sabaton? I have not listened to Sabaton, even though I know I should. And I feel like I haven't listened to them just because I was sent pictures of the main singer so much. I was just hammered with pictures of the lead singer. Like, the shoe is the shoe! Sabaton was a fun concert? I bet. Oh, I'm jealous that you got to see Avenged Sevenfold. I would, I would love to see Avenged Sevenfold. Um... I assume Sabaton, because I haven't listened to their music, I assume they're like... Heavy? Heavy metal? Heavy-ish, war metal, sorta, power metal. Because the only band that I would describe as, like, heavy metal, I mean, which, it, it really isn't even that heavy. It's not like it's death metal or anything, but, like, uh, is, I saw All That Remains one time, and they were fucking awesome. Such a good show. Oh, actually, I saw... We saw a band called Sons of Texas before. I'd never really seen them, but they, like... I had never heard of them before the concert we went to. They were, like... They were fucking... Killing it. They did a great job. Come on, Farfetch! Ha! 
Help me out here, bud. This whole fucking subathon hinges on you, dude. Gavin the Impulsive, welcome back. Thank you. Well, I still have time before people get off work. Just to keep hatching these eggs. Yes, I'm confident that I'll recognize. Like, not even just, like, I'm confident that I'll see it, but, like, because we have the actual in-game music playing, it's gonna be basically impossible to miss because it's gonna make the shiny sound. Trust me, I'm hoping it's not going to be another Meowth situation, too. You're not the only one hoping that. Yeah, it makes a sound. It, like, um... It... Will do all the regular jazz. Or it will hatch, and it will be like... Right? And do its, like, little animation thing. And then it will go back into position. Like, its normal standing position. And then it will go... And, like, a bunch of sparkles will fly out of it. And it will make, like, a really high-pitched, uh, like, sparkle noise. Um, if the timer hits zero, it will be, like, I will do, like, a wrap-up where I talk to you guys for a little bit. And we do, like, a thank you and everything. It won't just be, like... And it's your own! And then I like bum cheese. There. That's when the sparkle would be. I didn't even have a good reaction to the subathon ending last time because I was so like. Exhausted and like I, 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 cause I had barely slept the night before because like the, the subathon was, it w it was, it was set to end at like a weird time, and I didn't want it to end while I was asleep, so I was like trying to make sure I would be awake. And, but, like, then it kept getting pushed more and more and more, and it was, like, so I was staying up later and later and later because, like, you know, people kept gifting subs, like, right at the end and everything. that this thing has decided to be a pain. Huh? On it, like, if that's the thing, right? If, if this guy had shown up shiny at, like, you know, around when Ponyta did, like, 190-whatever... Um, the subathon legit might be over. It might have already been over.
<laughs> I love I love zero fucks Alex. It's my favorite. It's my favorite version. What's your favorite version of me? The the one where you're not here. <laughs> oh, this goddamn duck. No, I don't, man. Farfetch, you are the worst. I mean, you're not the worst because Meowth existed. But I am not loving this whole thing you're doing. It's not so much like the number. Right? It's the timing. that far fetched is in the last shiny hunt of the shine line. Yeah, me too. Someone's pissing on me. The drip, 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 that'll never stop. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, Squirrel, for the piss bits. One last hurrah. Thank you, Squirrel. Thank you for all your contributions. Far fetched is full on gatekeeping, do duo. Yeah. What are your and Cat's favorite Pokemon? Mine's Voltorb. Cat's is probably Volpix. She likes Volpix. This is the only place we can shiny hunt this. This is literally our only option. Is to just keep doing this. Until it works. <laughs> Unfortunately.
The thing is, I'm gonna want to scream when I get this shiny. Well, Cat's dad is here, and we have cleaners in the house right now. <laughs> Which I didn't know was happening today. And I doubt Cat did either. But I don't think I'm going to be able to help it. I think what I would do next subathon. Or like in a, a shiny thon in the, in the future. If I was going to do this again. Never mind. Get down! It's a stop now! Thank you, Electric Chocobo. If I was going to do a shiny thon again, I think what I would do is I could elect. A certain number of times to spin the wheel and then skip that shiny. Be like, I want to skip this one, and then I could spin the wheel, have to play that game, but then I can go to the next thing. Do I want to do that now? Not really. <laughs> yeah, it's not the rules of this subathon. Like, I wouldn't, which I know I make the rules, right? I wouldn't want to do it now because we're, like... There were some games on there, like Minecraft and stuff, that could theoretically take longer than the timer currently has. Which would suck to land on right now. And, um... And also... Like, then there would be an endless amount of people coming into the chat going, Wait, why is he playing whatever? Did we hit another thing? And I would be, I'd be just going insane. That's why I'd rather be shiny hunting, not in a particular order. Yeah, but, like, I felt like that wouldn't be hard enough to warrant taking an hour off the clock.
You can skip them on, but you must go back to it and you must set an hour to the timer. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Because if I have to go back to it, the only reason I would skip it is to get to a mon that I could more easily get to get an hour off the time. So adding an hour, like, theoretically just to, so I could do something else rather than hatch eggs, doesn't, it wouldn't really, you know. I love the shun command. I love it. You asked if I had the shiny charm. Shun! Shun! Since you want to catch all the Pokemon yourself, will you have to replay Scarlet for those Paradox Mon? No, I'm just going to um, have Cats invite me into her game. Or like, what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll take Cats Scarlet game, reset it until there's an outbreak that I want, and then um, jump into her world. I would sure hope outbreaks don't change when you connect to someone else, someone else's game. Coming up on 600. Oh, I hope I find it soon, too.
we're getting a little unlucky. We're still kind of in, like, the realm of, like, okay, this is to be expected, but we're... Each egg is taking us out of that area. I'm very much looking forward to being off stream, yeah. Which theoretically could happen if I get a shiny Farfetch, but it will it will not uh it is not letting that happen. Why are the smug mons the ones being difficult? I, you know. It's like they know. Because smug. Yeah, Ponytail was just like, Alright, here I am. I'm shiny. And I was like, I need another one. And they were like, Alright, here I am. Uh, the non-smug farfetched. I mean, it was a different hunting technique. It wasn't egg hatching. Freaking thing. Smugness relates to shiny odds, yeah.
Scarlet and Violet are good games, uh, but they don't run well at all. Um, Sword and Shield is a good game, and it runs pretty smooth, so... Okay, admittedly, I was wrong about the whole, like, I feel like this one's going to be in the 400s thing. Legends Arceus is great. Great game. Very fun. some cookies. And the big thing of cookies that got sent over here. really hoped we wouldn't be here again, guys. But my hopes did not come to fruition. Sub bomb incoming. Stonewall Tony, thank you for the 11 sub sub bomb. Giveaway! Look at that! Oh. Gamer girl, welcome back. Okay. All right, it is two twelve. PM Eastern Time at 2.17. We will give away another slabbed Pokemon card. This one is going to be a grade 9.5 Rainbow Duraludon VMAX from Evolving Skies. Rainbow Building.
Good luck, everyone. Please, bird. Please be shiny, bird. I am wearing the same shirt from last night. Because I stopped streaming last night, went to bed, woke up, Insanely early this morning. Couldn't fall asleep again and just started streaming. I've been enjoying AFK. I just don't always remember to take it. Alright, another five. The last one will be our 600th egg. Looking for this thing. And the winner! is Dynamic Dragon 25. Congratulations, you have won. Hey, that's a fitting name. That's a fitting name. Dynamic Dragon won the Rainbow Duraludon. Congrats. Wow, following since 2016. God damn. Make sure to have your whispers open here on Twitch. Mods will get in touch with you. Grab your shipping details.
I'm gonna do the um, normal thing, or like, not normal, but I'm gonna <laughs> do the thing again soon. Once Cat's dad leaves, where I have her come in here and start hatching eggs while I go shower and clean up. Six fourteen is today's date backwards. You are not wrong. Um, I don't grade my cards anymore. A lot of these were graded by TGA, uh, which is a company I partnered with. They are. A really good grading company they're a lot more affordable but they are not as well recognized as like cgc or psa Close to $40 cash for one card. Okay, what is it at PSA? Oh, that is the PSA price. Okay. Yeah, I think TGA, because I was like, wow, they must have really blown up since I stopped working with them. Um... Because I'm pretty sure they were, like, at most 20. And honestly, the rarer 17 plus some extra thing... There you go. Yeah. Way more affordable. But like I said, they're not as... Uh, well recognized yet, which is a shame because the bigger the market is for that stuff the more the price will come down um, Like when I opened my first edition fossil box and I wanted to get those hollows uh, graded The Like I was looking into grading them through PSA but the more expensive the card, the more it costs to have graded at PSA. It's not just like all cards cost the same to get graded. Like the rarer the card, the more expensive it is to grade it. And like to grade all of the holographics I got out of that fossil box through PSA was like it was gonna be like at least two grand yeah 
Yup. It's insane. Um... But luckily, I got an email from someone who worked at CGC. Um, who was like, hey, I saw that you opened that first edition fossil box and like, that was really cool. If you want any of your cards graded, send them our way, we'll grade them for you. And I was like, absolutely. And so they graded them, and they look awesome. I love them. They're all downstairs right now, but... Only only one of them came back a 10, which was unfortunate. I was really hoping to get some 10s on there. Especially on, like, the Gengar or the Articuno. But I now I have a first edition holographic Raichu that it's a perfect 10 from CGC. It was awesome. It's probably my favorite card that I have because... Not because it's my favorite Pokemon or even because it's a graded card and, like, it's worth a lot. It's the fact that I pulled it. You know what I mean? Like, I pulled it myself. That's, like, what makes that really... Like, kind of sentimental to me. Uh, grading is done by a human. Human grades it. Machine slabs it. So, grading, like, what grade it is, is determined by, um, it's like six different things or something, but, like, there's, there's the centering is a big one. So, all the cards have borders on them. They used to be yellow, now they're silver. Um... It's like, those need to be even on every side. So the card needs to be perfectly centered, but it was cut. Lots of times it's not. Um, there needs to be no whitening on the, uh, on the edges. Like, if you hold cards by the edges, it, like, the, um, the print on the very side can start to come off and it makes whitening on, like, the corners. You'll see, like, little white dots. Um, if the card is holographic... There can be, pr uh, and it's not as much anymore, but there can be print lines. Uh, old holographics have these quite a bit. Where, like, if you turn the holographic into the light, you'll see, like, a line on there. And that's, like, a printing error that happens. So you gotta look for print lines. Uh, you're looking for any scratches on the card on the back or on the hollow. Um, all, like, there's the, a thing called hollow bleed, which is, like... Since the card is printed, like, on top of holographic material, sometimes, like, the hollow can be showing up places that it shouldn't be. And, like, that's a bad thing. There's all this shit that they have to look for, and then they give it a grade. I have a Shining Charizard, I need great one. Oh, that Shining Charizard card is so good. So old school. I got it straight from the pack as a kid. Oh my God, that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh man, guys.
No, you're definitely not crazy. I'm like sitting way back from the mic. And also my soul has left my body, so I'm definitely gonna be quieter than the game. Which card is, like, the biggest one, like, is worth the most? Uh, I would assume first edition Shadowless Charizard. That would be- that would be my guess. Um... Though, Crystal Charizard, Black Star Rayquaza... Um... One of those go for a whole lot. Or I said Black Star Rayquaza. Gold Star Rayquaza. I don't know why I said Black Star. I think I was thinking of the fact that Rayquaza is black in the Gold Star card. What does shadowless mean? Um, I don't know if it's still a thing on current cards. Hang on. No. Um, basically, on like the older Pokemon cards, there is. Those are all the way over there. On the actual like window that has the artwork in it. There's a little shadow, like, on the... I think it's on the right side of it. To make it look like, you know, the, the picture is, like, floating over the, uh... Over the background of the card. Uh, just to, like, give it some... It's just a drop shadow. Um, but... In the very first print of Face Set... They didn't have those shadows. It was just, like, flat on the background. And so, like, that very first print of the first editions is what's called Shadowless. See that? See, like, the artwork on the right side there, on the one on the left? It has that- it has that drop shadow. But then on the one on the right, there's no shadow. That's what- that's what shadowless means. Shadowless is more sought after, yeah. Because they are, like, the, the first of the first. They are the first of the first editions.
PSA 10 Illustrator Pikachu. Yeah, a one-of-a-kind card. I'm pretty sure it was sold. I'm pretty sure um, Logan Paul bought it. Yeah, and when he competed at WrestleMania, he, um, his first time, he, like, had a necklace on that had that, had the card. Shadowless is between first edition and base set. Oh. It was just, it was very limited print. Did he have a Charizard on? I thought, I thought he had a Pikachu on. Was the Pikachu? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, he bought a booster case of first edition base set boxes. Should be six base set booster boxes. And he spent, like, millions and millions on it, and then it was, they were all fake. But, like, I don't know how much of that, just, I believe, in general. Like, I, I feel like that was, a uh, PR. Or not PR, but, like, you know what I mean? I, I think that that was a... I think that was a stunt, just to get views. Skipper is an innocent little loaf. She's so good. But she purrs so loud for how small she is. She's small but has big purr. She's got very big eyes, yes. Everything about her is big except her body. Not her hiss. Her hiss is very small. 
she goes. And you go, Beeb, are you scary? And she goes. Because she, she used to, like, hiss at Scooter anytime she saw him. She doesn't anymore, but, like, she used to always hiss at him. She'd go... Pssst. And Scooter would just be like... Like, walk away. <laughs> you're like, Beeb, you're not frightening. Like, this isn't working. Like, you're hoping it is. up soon. I could use a break and a shower. Winners don't shower? I know, that's why I want to shower. You see what this number is at for this bird? Do I look like a winner? It is being a very stubborn duck. Very much so. I mean, not very stubborn. It's being... Again... It's not until you're past, like... Seven or eight hundred that it's like, okay, this is unlucky. Like, in this range, it's not necessarily unlucky. It's just you didn't get lucky. You know what I mean? Is that it? That might be it. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh my god!
god, that just changed the game, everybody. That just changed the game right there. Oh my god! Woo! Sub -bomb oh my god! There he is! Oh! We can go for Clarence! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's not honestly. So that was 632. Not horrific. Not horrific. I'll be real with you. Which is a shame, but it's true. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, okay. I gotta change the graphics. Change the graphics. Change the graphics. Farfetch, far Oh no, I don't need Farfetch. Do duo, do duo, do duo. Oh my god. Oh, it's done. It's done. Possibly the last egg hunt I'll have to do of this subathon. I'm gonna ask you guys for your preference. Do you want Doduo's next to be um, tan or black? Okay, pretty unanimously black. Oh my god. Thank you. It's the gender difference of Doduo. Male Doduo have black necks. See? It doesn't matter as long as it's shiny. Um, and then... What do you see this guy? Oh, you're gonna love this. QR areas. Buckle up. <laughs> oh, sucks. Okay, okay, okay. Negative one. Boom. Instead of white, it's eggshell. Yeah, that's the perfect way to describe it. Connor! It's a sub With a sub nuke! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Okay, uh, there are mass outbreaks occurring. Is any Doduo? Dude, imagine. <laughs> HL, thank you for the 1551 Rocket Bits. Ayo, hey, imagine. Make sure to thank for a gifted sub. Uh, what? I need a normal or flying encounter too. 
What number sandwich are we looking at here? Sub bomb incoming. QD Hazen, thank you for the 10 sub sub bomb. Sixty-one. Yeah, let's do flying. Thank you, Electric Chocobo. What is it? Eggs? <laughs> onions? Oh, red onions specifically. Pickles. Oh no, cucumbers. <laughs> Monkey. Thank you for the bits. Thank you. Mmm. Shy, thank you. <gasps> Wait, you kept it a sub to Clarence? Sub bomb is you did. Coming. All right, we gotta get Clarence. We gotta get Clarence. What what else is Clarence from? What am I keep thinking? What am I? Sub bomb incoming. Oh, you know what? It's Game Grumps. Of course it is. I am friend Clarence. Oh my gosh, guys! No, <laughs> God damn you! Thank you, Glenjamin. All right, Litleo. I think they. I think they're just in the savanna biome. I am friend Clarence. I am also friend dog. Oh, it's a Rowlet outbreak. Oh. Dragon Man, thank you. Sub bomb incoming. Thank you for the five sub sub bomb. Mondo Duo. Ice Rose, welcome back. Rowlet again. I would assume Rowlet is rarer than Doduo. Bomb incoming. How the hell am I getting that twice? There he is. Alex, what's the flying ingredient? Sub bomb incoming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, tier twos as well. Oh, my God. Nice layer of prosciutto. Give me one salty ass sandwich. Burger, some onions on there. A few green peppers on there. No bread. Oh. Not right. Thank you for the 2,000 bits. Hawaii, thank you. Buffy, thank you. 
Sub bomb incoming. How's that spicy? Because I put the spicy Urban Mystica on it. Dude, this bitch is be fast. Dakra, thank you. It just ran right into me. It just ran straight into me again. That Scyther is going to piss me off being all green like that. I can't predict what direction they're running. Anyone who's saying we got to get that timer back up, put up or shut up. They're just running into Garchomp, who's just killing them. All right, no, he's not killing them anymore. Good. No, don't Stop suddenly change. Coming. Stop, stop. Don't suddenly change direction. Don't. Stop. Dude, I hate these things. They suck. Unholy darkness, thank you. These things are so annoying. All right, Garchomp, you just fuck off, I guess.
first message. Okay. Oh my gosh, Garchomp, please. Nightmare. Nightmare scenario. This is awful. This is terrible. Nope! Dude, he just hooked a right suddenly. This one's gonna run right into me. Oh my God. Kill it, kill it. Kill something. You keep spawning and just running at me. <laughs> this, this is this sucks. Here they come. <laughs> Garchomp, focus. At least they spawn pretty consistently because they keep running away. Okay. Mm. This is the scariest shiny hunt yet. Yes, for sure. Oh my god, I don't want to get near it. <laughs> this, is, this is terrifying. Ooh. Dude, this is like Jurassic Park, dude. Are you serious? I think what's so scary is they clearly have no sense of self-preservation, you know what I mean? They're just they're just hauling ass right at me. They're like, I'm running at them and if I die, I die. Alright, the rain finally stopped. Right, there's no thoughts. There's just, there's just pant. This is the chat. Anytime I, I, you know, I'm not on camera. He's do oh god.
Just blind panic. Kill this Scyther. Kill this Scyther. He's eyeballing me. He's seen too much. Get it away! Chump, I know you're tired, dude, but I'm sure you're exhausted. Okay, okay, there's message three. I'm gonna kill a few more. That should be plenty. Okay, I don't want the outbreak to disperse. Okay. There's a lot of them. Come on, Clarence, help me out here, bud. Gotta look, gotta look, gotta look, gotta stay focused. Stay focused, looking for green. Looking for green, looking for green. Scanning, scanning, scanning. There he is, there he is, there he is! Yes! With the black neck as well! I am friend Clarence! Yes! All right! No! <laughs> 
Clarence! <laughs> Okay. All right. Mother, get my celebratory clean diaper. I really hope the cleaners aren't still here. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> Alex. I need a number for encounter two ice stat. <laughs> Catherine. I'm into the six hundreds of orders needing to be fulfilled. I've got two shinies. <laughs> Down to six hundred orders. Dang, cat. Oh, Oh, you're into the 600s. Got it. I'm still on April 1st. Are the cleaners still here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, thank God. It's okay. Man, I, I, you know, the new Shut the fuck up. Shut. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Wow. Come on, sir. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you for the sub bomb. Muck. So horrible. Nothing. Don't worry about what she said or did. I already have a Lolan Grimer. Alright, Alex, you said, uh... Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking. One fifty. Okay. Good, good, good. Nice. I just sent two Alolan Grimer to my uh, Pokemon home. Oh, I can do this now. Mayor Rails with the 18 months. Thank you. I don't have it. Damn it. Six noodles, one pepper. These freaking noodles, dude.
Oh crap, is this ice? I forgot, seal is an ice type. Crap! Right, seal doesn't- mm. I wanna make another sandwich. What's- what's water? No, seal's pure water. Dugong is ice. What about encounter two for water? I don't give a shit about the noodles. Six rice, three curry powder, and one olive oil. What the fuck? Sub bomb incoming. Thank you, Shy. Oh boy. Crap. Can I do this in like... Uh, Guppy out, I'll let the mods, uh, decide if that's true or not. Not that I don't believe you, but I don't believe you. Or more so, it's not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust you. But it's, it, don't take it personally, it's I don't trust anybody that isn't a mod. Someone claimed the timer wasn't working. <gasps> Fuck! It's too gone. All right, seems like it's working. Seal! All right, and what's the ingredient? Uh, cloth sticks? Is cloth sticks ice? Water! Fucking eat my ass. Cucumbers. Got it. Mm, monkey. I saw it go up.
Sub bomb incoming. This is why I have trust issues. Normally, I wouldn't even, like, entertain that. You know, I wouldn't even be like, okay, it's, like, they're just saying stuff. But the word definitely was used. Like, it definitely isn't working. You're missing 10 minutes. I was like, well, that sounds, they sound fucking certain. I was like, now I gotta check. At least once again, putting on a masterclass for what not to do in a live stream. All right. Breloom, get to work. I already have a dugong, so I just need one. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to see. I, I need to do this before the sun starts to go down. Because at sunset, this is gonna be impossible. Radiant Blaze, welcome back for your 11th month. Yeah, the, and unfortunately, I kind of wish it was the case, but, um, like, Sword and Shield runs off of your real times. Like, if you're playing at night, the game will be at night. Um, Scarlet and Violet has its own day-night cycle. That is, um separate from the switch clock which really sucks because there's some outbreaks like you know say you wanted to do a venomoth outbreak or a ghastly outbreak right and it showed up on the map they're not going to be there during the day and you can't like change your clock so that you can go do it you just have to wait for in-game nighttime for them to be there Which sucks. against a bright white floor it might be okay i saw dugong when i hunted for dugong so there was an outbreak i mean it wasn't during the stream it was like um probably not. okay me too
So one of them's gonna be slightly tan. <laughs> We're getting some real good lag here. It, is it all the seals swimming? Isn't gonna work. Soup, I need you. Soup, you're needed on extermination duty. We've got the second message, by the way. We're just waiting for the third. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna kill a couple extra. Hey, that person just donated. Oh no, I think the sun's starting Sorry to go down. Sorry for being wrong, Jeremy. I tried to watch the for multiple donation before I said anything. Hope this makes up for my annoyance. Thank you. Just be careful using the word definitely. Especially with it's like a, a stream mechanic. I mean, just saying I don't think the timer's working. And then just like leaving it there. Then the mods can see that. They can check on it. And we'll be good. The sun's going down. They're all going to look a bit eggshell. Crap. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Sun's getting real low. God damn it, seal. You have an unoriginal name and a shitty shiny. And a mediocre design at best.
God, there were so many Oshawats. <laughs> A lot of seals. At least there's a lot of sp there's a lot spawning, which is great. That worked out well with the do duos. Hey, that person just donated. Thank you. Bay Bay, I compare you to a kiss from a rose it's on the grave. God damn it! It's snowing on Mount Fuji. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Um. <laughs> Yo, come out to play! <laughs> Ow! Oh man. Goddamn eye strain the sequel. I assume that it will be noticeable. And I said that about Slowpoke, and it really wasn't. I said Slowpoke would be noticeable, and. That bitch was hidden. Phoenix D and D, welcome back. I admit they're. I know they're cute. I know. Very stressed out right now. sunlight. Honestly, that one died because he was off by himself. That's really the only reason that one died. I didn't have anything to compare him to. It's just like, it's just like in the wild. They need to remain in a group because I'll just pick off the solo ones. <laughs>
seals. Seals everywhere. Okay, that one's normal. You check out your friend. Your friend saved your life. Um, can someone also do me a... Oh, never mind. I... Never mind. I remember. I was going to say I wanted someone to check the Pokedex for me, but I remember now. After Muck is going to be drowsy. 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 Oh, oh, that one looks wrong. That one looks weird. Yes. mine he did look wrong Get ready for these fingers! Look at those fingers go! Drowsy's hoping for a little... For a little playtime. So I have to evolve this guy. I don't, I think I have a shiny Onyx. Okay. 
Let me check. Don't. So my next one's actually Onyx. Okay. All right. Never mind on Drowsy. I just wanted him on your screen for a little bit. I just wanted to make you uncomfortable. Jesus! Okay, Grimer spawns next to like, there's a, um, oh. it's next to Lavincia. I think it spawns up here. Uh, this is not the place I thought it was. You know what? They spawn over here as well. They, de they definitely spawn over here, too. Or maybe that's just if there's an outbreak. I don't know. All right. Oh, it's that lighthouse. By the auction place. Damn it. Is that... Aha, it's it's uh this lighthouse. There he is. Okay. All right, Alex. You're all over it. I love it. I need you now more than ever.
Oh, let us see your nudes! You're right! Of course! Okay, I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to check, like, the whole map. Unless it's just those two places, like, here and that other place where Grimer outbreaks can happen. I love shroomish. Gumshoes, quillfish, ghastly. Okay. Tropius, toxtricity, quillfish. Go goat. Blow it. Fuck. Fanpy. Jigglypuff. Floatzel. Ghastly. Getting a lot of ghastly right now, and I wonder if it's because it's night, but... Haunter, Pineco, Ghastly, Skiddo, Metatite. Whooper. Damn it. Come on, Grimer. Oh, I thought that was him for a second. Gulpin. Or, no, not Gulpin. That's, that's, he's nuts. Swalot. Which doesn't work as well. Delibird. Ghastly Grimer, where are you, Grimer? Psyduck, Espeon for some reason, Starly, Ghastly, Roly Coly, Shrudel, Hissimian. God damn you, Grammar! Dragonair. Quillfish Whooper, Toxel. Doug Trio. This fucking blob. Uh, Larvesta Capsicid. Watchroll, Noivern, Guard. None of these are poison. Gyarados, Floatzel. None of those are even poison types. Sub bomb incoming. Small nail. Thank you for the sub bomb. Toxtricity, Weasel, Ghastly. Oh, Vaporeon. I thought that was a Suicune for a second. I was like, what the fuck?
Yeah, it was a Vaporeon outbreak. Or as a group of Vaporeons is called, an orgy. Beartic, Floatzel, Dreadnought, Shrewdle, Toad School, Fampy, Fletchling. Fuck. Salazzle, speaking of. Clefki, Spide Ops. Oh my god, Grimer, please. You slimy bitch. <laughs> Claude. Haunter, Knackle Stack, Rookie D, Clawitzer. Marini, Ghastly, Rockruff. Magnemite. I'm gonna have to restart the game once I find one. Wiggle it. Once I find one, uh, an outbreak, because otherwise there's gonna be so many messages on the screen. It's gonna be gross. Dunsparce, Makuhita. Swalot, Krogunk. That's our first time seeing Krogunk, so we are getting some new stuff. Houndoom, Haunter, Bagon, Ghastly, Choodle, Bombardier. This thing is being so elusive. Why are you being so elusive, Grimer? Come on. Meowth. Awesome. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking about you, weirdly. Cloth. An outbreak of something I don't have. Venomoth, Haunter. It's gonna be just like an Oracorio form or something. Or like, yeah, Flabebe form or something like that. Fletchling. I'm actually gonna move. Oh, Jesus! <sighs> oh my God. Oh.
Because I was thinking maybe an outbreak can happen by that lighthouse. And if I'm standing there, it won't want to spawn one on me. I don't know if that's a thing, but... Can someone look up for me uh, where Grimer outbreaks can happen? I mean, I know I could, and I probably will end up doing that, but... Okay, the places I'm looking. Got it. Thank you. So it's in the two places they can spawn, which that makes sense. Watch roll. Slow poke. Oh my god, sucks. Grimer, what the hell, dude? All right, I might just have to, I might just have to sandwich hunt like without an outbreak, which is not the end of the world, but is also not ideal. I'm going to do five more. And if we don't get one, I'll just sandwich hunt. So this is number one. This is number two. We are getting poison mons quite a bit. Oh man. This is number three. Hey, for Hawkeye, add in more to the timer. Resetting the game and just looking for a Grimer. I need a boy's gonna show up green. But right now, this motherfucker being mean. Aether Hawkeye, thank you so much for the 50 sub sub nuke. Alright, last one. I'm gonna reset here and then. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it because I'm just not getting this outbreak. Sub -bomb incoming. Thank you, the missing persona. But here. Because I respect you all. I will restart the game so we don't have the messages on the side the whole time. That is full on just because I respect you. Seriously? 
like, let, let me tell you guys something. Yes, I'm partnered with Gamer Subs, right? That doesn't mean I'm going to gas up everything about them, about theirs. If there's something I don't like from them, I just won't talk, like, I won't drink it. If there's a flavor I don't like, I won't drink it and I just won't talk about it, right? Like, but this, I'm currently drinking the raw meat one that just came out. It's good shit. It's really good. Yeah, it's called raw meat. Yeah, the name's pretty rough. It is too... It is too far into the subathon for this. But in response to your question, I don't know how long I'm streaming. How long I'm planning to stream for. There's simply no way to know. Alright, so we don't have an outbreak, which is not ideal, but you might still be able to uh, make this work. It still should be pretty good odds. I gotta make sure to watch out for Varum. Varum is fast as hell, dude. Once again, we're looking for green. Looking for some green goop. What are the shiny odds if someone wants to look it up for me while I'm doing this of just using the sandwich but not in an outbreak? So, level 3 sparkling sandwich shiny charm. No outbreak. Like 1,024. Okay, that could be right. It's just the lighting, right? You're not shining. Okay.
Google says one in six eighty three. I'll take those odds. Green goop, green goop. Green to green to goop, a goop, green to green to goop, a goop. Green a green and goopity goo green greeny goop a goop a goopity green the green green the green the green the goop goop the goop the green the green the green the green the goop the goop the goop the green 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 goop that is green goop and it is so green goop. Dude, I can't wait till I see this fucking Kids' Choice Award gack pile or whatever. Holy fuck. Oh, what was that noise? I think that was actually Varun. I don't know why the music goes away. <laughs> I don't know why the music fades out when I go up, like, up here. Oh, that's horseshit. Seeing so many Grimer. Every one of these is getting that one in 600 whatever roll. Which means it's only a matter of time. I cannot tell when Varum is shiny and when it isn't. Like, it, it has a fun shiny because it's gold, but it's just so reflective that it makes it really hard to tell. Dude, the music's so weird. Come on, come on, come on. I know, like, I know I didn't find an outbreak, but this might as well be an outbreak, really. So many Grimer.
<gasps> green goop! Green goop! Green goop! Green goop! Yes! Oh! Yes! Alright, I gotta do some evolving, though. Get away from me. Oh my god. Oh lord, he coming. God. Green goop, green goop, green goop. Oh my god. Crazy goop! Crazy goop! Crazy goop! But since I caught that Alolan Grimer off stream, that's not its own hour. Guess who's back? Those fingers go. Look at those fingers.
Oh, because I fought a bunch of stuff. That's right. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Why do I have so much in my Pokedex? Okay, so what we're looking for... Fungus, that's... Trungus. <laughs> or fungus, that's Shrungus? I don't know. Thank you for the 10 sub sub bomb. Um, okay, so what I'm looking for is either a massive mass outbreak in the, um, Mirelands. What is it? Yeah, the Crimson Mirelands. Or just an Onyx outbreak. Oh! Or, or a massive mass outbreak in the Highlands. Either, either or. Pottergak with a 28 Get sub down. sub Get nuke! Okay, this will work. Incoming. Musical theater mixtape. Think of the 10 sub sub bomb. Um, why do I have so many freaking berries? What the hell is with my backpack right now? God damn it, dude. Wait, where's all my... Oh, there they are. Begins. The thing is, Drowsy is going to be an interesting one, right? Like, if we get Onyx, right, an hour comes off the of time. Drowsy is going to be a whole different thing because I'm going to I'm going to keep resetting until I get a, an outbreak, and I need both Drowsy and Hypno. So if I can catch two of them in one outbreak. That's going to be big. Oh, you're right. Let me fix my items again. Good call. Good call. Which one do I want? Which one do I want? This one. And seven! Get down! It's a sub nuke! Thank you for the sub nuke! <laughs> 
Alex, why did you post that? Why? Norman, thank you for the sub nuke. Monkey. Lasiris with the sub nuke. Forever Artemis with the five sub sub bomb. Get down! It's a sub now! Sub bomb incoming. Thank you for gifting a sub. And seven, another 20 subs. Man, you're dropping a lot of money. That is a lot. HJ, 15. Fire Chaos, 5 sub sub bomb. Come on, Onyx, 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 Onyx. <gasps> Fuck, what are the controls to this game? Give it the bits. Not Steelix, not Steelix. Sarjenka, thank you for the 10 sub sub bomb. Star, thank you for cheering me on. I appreciate it.
It's a Yanma outbreak and a Yan Mega outbreak. Oh, Wush Monster. Mini Wush. Mini Monster Wush. Still only, still only one. Sub bomb incoming. Thank you for the sub bomb, whoever it was. Get down! It's a sub now! Thank you for the sub nuke, whoever it was. to the end you gifted us up some mother wheel spin now i gotta play a different game and all i can think is that's a real shame uh, fucking god damn it dude the far fetch just showed up a bit earlier fuck Raven Moon, Shut thank you. Uh... Oh, that fucking sucks. That sucks so much. Oops. All right, that'll that'll do. Um. All right. Pokemon Snap, please, Pokemon Snap. Yes! Yes! Okay. Cool. Stop this. I don't give a shit about what you're doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Snap. He's doing the owl thing to me. Yes. Oh, 
Don't even like seeing him, really. Oh my god, it's so... I doubt this has settings. To not make this inverted. Hi, Lapras. That's actually a really good lap respect. <laughs> wow. I feel like there's like a slight delay. Uh, yeah, I gotta get a picture of Mew. from my own chat. Uh, he likes when they're using Gust, right? Doesn't he? Pikachu looks really nervous. You were close. Come on. Wonderful. Hell yes. Wonderful. Dude. You were close. No, you bitch. Wonderful. You were close. <sighs> wow. Oh, that's a that's a lot of points right there. Wait. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Next course, baby. Yes. To the tunnel! Okay, we don't have any upgrades yet, unfortunately. Like, so I don't have Pokemon bait. I don't have pester balls. I don't have, um, boost. God, that delay is fucking horrific. Oh, wait. Ready? Fuck. Yeah, so I can't do this yet. I just heard magic cart behind me. take that picture early enough. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, and I can't, I can't get a picture of them yet, unfortunately. So that's how to unlock the next level. You need to hit him with an apple. Um, and then Magnemite won't let you get a picture of it, um, unless you throw Pokemon food down. So until I get Pokemon food, I can't, um, progress to the next level or get a picture of Magnemite. You know what? Fuck this. Hey, that person just donated! This is reminding me of those videos where you tortured Matt in this game, bitch. Yep, I, d I definitely did torture that man. All right, Pikachu on a ball. Hell yeah. <laughs> he loves pictures of Electrode exploding. Even though you can't tell what the hell it is. Oh! No! Fuck. This one. I'm going to be very excited about a package. Well done. Oh. Wonderful. You were close. Yeah, I know I was close. Wonderful. Great. You didn't even tell me I was close on that Wonderful. one. Wonderful. Gonna be you were close, mate. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
Wonderful. Not what I expected. Wait. Wait, fuck off. Welcome back. <sighs> Will Cat share the package with chat? Um, no, we're in a monogamous relationship. All right, we got Pokemon food. Um. Yes. Jeremy, this is why we torture you. Well, <laughs> do you ever think that I'm like this because you torch me? And I meant torture me, but I said torch. Hey, you know what? Fuck you, guy. Yeah, he'll eat that up. Oops. Okay, we're gonna get a better Doug Trio here. You just gotta like take pictures of Diglett early. I, he's dead. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> he died. Uh, I mean, we can see if this one's better. Oh, man, he'll like this. Oh, he'll love this one. He's gonna be like, oh, it's about to die. Well done. It's in horrific pain. Well done. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Yeah, look, see, this is a picture of Magneton, can't you tell? Yes. Wow. Oh! Well done. 
It's better. Oh yeah. Well done. Way better. Well done. Yep. Told you we'd love it. Wonderful. Well done. He loves it. You were close. That's fine. I don't care. Wait. So, the way we beat this... Welcome back. Um, ...is you have to get through all the courses. Yeah. Some courses will require you to unlock them. Like that. Like I needed to blow up that electrode. Other ones will just be points. You just need enough points. Um, I think to unlock Mew, to get a photo of Mew, I think you need to get... I don't remember if you need a photo of every Pokemon. You might. Um, but you also need a photo of every landmark. I think. But it's been a while. Oh, Cat's here. Hi. Hi. What is it? Oh! Is it from... It's from Megan. There was no note. And I won't say a last name. I have another crocheted friend. Isn't it so cute? I got a little Spyro! Here you, buddy. Is he, cute? he is cute. Um. <sighs> More water, please. Okay. Thanks, love. Um, do you still want to do the shiny things? Probably. Do you want to meet a Oh, uh, later. Okay. Hi, little. So cute. They come! They'll start yelling at you. Okay.
Okay. Char! I need pester balls for that. Okay. Greg, this should have ended, like, hours ago. Okay. Rapidash. Mm, he might... This might be out of frame, but you know what? He can fucking deal with it. Bullpix is the best. No, we want the fighting ones at the end. Yeah, this one where the guy's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he'll fucking shit himself over that one. That's my best Charmeleon because I wasn't really trying for Charmeleon. Is that going to be too close? He might not like that. He might like this better. Heart of Solace, thank you for gifting a sub. Nah, you know what? Let's get right up in there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. Cool. He liked that one. Really liked that one. Wonderful. Hell yeah, dude. Wonderful. Hell yeah. Oh, sixty two hundred points. You kidding me? Master Balls. Oh. Yeah. We got the river. Yes. Oh, okay. I need to beat this level and then he'll give me Pester Balls. boy.
Whew. Hey, Psyduck. Capsize him. I can't unlock the next area yet without pester balls. Oh, I saw that was coming out at the end there. Loloff, welcome back for your 14th month. Yeah, I didn't really get a good polywag. Slowbook. I think he likes the sparkles. <laughs> oh, getting a centered photo is so tough. I mean, that's centered, but he's not facing me. He, yeah, it's a little off-center. He's, he's probably gonna be like, you were fucking close, idiot. Like, Professor, please, I'm doing my best. Right it is. You were close. Now oh, fuck off. You were close. Shut off. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. Well done. Wonderful. Nice. Wait. Eighty-seven thousand pester balls. Pester balls. Welcome back. Yeah. Pester balls. I don't know if I need a picture of everything. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Hit the Bulbasaur. Fuck it, dude. Thank you. Oh, 
why did you have to face this way first? Now that's a picture of Slowbro. Come on. Oh, we're good. All right, get the fuck out of here. here now, right? That's gonna be such a good one. Oh, fuck, Jeremy! Alright. Almost missed it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Well done. Way better. Almost a hundred thousand. Welcome back. Yeah. Does yes. anyone know off the top of your head if I need a picture of every Pokemon in order to get Mew? Miss my chance. No, Fuck. sucks. Oh. 
Dude, it's so hard to aim this shit. No, no! Oh, there's the last one back there. Going for it, going for it. It's not worth in taking a picture of any of the, uh... Uh, it's not worth taking a picture of any of the, uh, signs yet. Just the landmarks. Okay, cool. Then we're cruising! It will be through this game in no time if I just need the landmarks. Eh, not as good as my other one. His back to me. I didn't get any pictures of coughing or victory bell. I don't think he gives you any credit for it until he's like, there are things out there that look like Pokemon. Like, I, I, I don't think it registers as anything. course. Yes. I mean, there's still a lot I gotta do.
Gotta make sure not to use all my film. get it god it's so hard i think i got one though right don't i have one oh i don't Where the hell is Stratini? All right. Bam! Monkey! Here's where uh, Professor Oak's wearing his, like, oh. Oh. Pokemon signs hidden on the island. Oh, I fucking owled it. Oh, fuck off. You found my secret place. <laughs> you found my secret cabin. Fucking love that shit. Look at Sandshrew. He's so cute. Just love Sandshrew. I do think... Again, this kind of stuff might not be needed. Like, <laughs> Oh, Me and Cat said we've had takeout too many times this week. Get down! It's a sub! Shadow Storm! Think of the 20 sub sub nuke! I'm keeping that one. It's not as many points as the other one, but I love it. I find it so funny. So I do think I need a certain amount of points. To advance far enough as well, but I believe I have that. Okay, we got... Oops. Alright, so we have the boost now. Yes. We have the boost. So, now we gotta get the Pokemon signs. We still need the Poke Flute. Oh, Jesus.
Fuck you, guy. I mean, I might as well get some other Pokemon, right? We out. Dude, I got some good photos there. I remembered my shit. Praise the sun! points that is. Well done. Dude, it's like Pikachu on a log has so many points. He fucking loves it. Alright. Oh, wonderful. Alright, we got the Pokemon sign. Wait. Wait, fuck off! Mr. Yetta, welcome back to your sixth month. All right, we got the polka flute. Yes. Okay, now we need the sign in the tunnel. Sorry, Pikachu. Why am I going so fast? All 
Alright, get out of my way. Yeah, Magneton, they don't, like... They straight up don't evolve. They don't have, like, the big... Flourishy thing. <laughs> Dude, I love it. He likes pictures like this, so... Hates it. Okay. Oh, I thought he'd like that pose. All right, whatever. Well done. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Welcome back. No, Steelix is Gen two. All right. Yes. Double RK9. Oh, he doesn't like that. Okay, there we go. This is gonna be big points. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wonderful. Welcome back. Okay, next is the river. Okay. Making good time, making good time. Should be done with this in no time. Fucking. Gotcha. See, I don't need that photo, but. I'm getting it because I love it. Oh, doesn't that look just like a Q-bone? Okay, I forget how to get... There's a certain type of Pikachu you can get. 
here. Yeah, speed Pikachu. Pikachu de zooms! Fast as fuck, boy! Nothing beats Pikachu in a log. Oh, wonderful. In terms of Pikachus. I mean, Welcome flying back. Pikachu might? I know, yes. like, the hardest one to get is Pikachu on Articuno. That's, that's really tough. But I'm going to try. We're going to go for it. Ready? Well, first off... Okay. So, let's try to hit him. Got that. Oh, nice. We get this too. Comes Articuno. Don't know if I got it. in horrific distress Mewtwo sign which makes no sense Victory Bell looking like a weirdo <laughs> Flying Pikachu <laughs> Articuno showing the tootsies Yeah, they're all Articuno they don't count as Pikachu Dang. Yes. 
Wonderful. Yeah, oh, it wasn't centered. Wow, Balloon Pikachu is 1,600. God damn. It won't be Pikachu in a log. Nothing does. One more sign. Welcome back. And it's the hardest one to find. Yes. Wish me luck, guys. Got it. Okay. Let's get out of here. I know who else we can try to get. There's one. There's one Pokemon, and I didn't get Dratini, and I got a shitty Goldeen. But I know that we didn't get Starmie. So apparently he doesn't count, because... I got a picture of that star you last time and Okay, so what you need to do Yes is get pictures Oh, I think I got that one too. I got think he does count. I don't know why whatever. I only got one. Oh, right, Tini. There. All right. What's modern Pokemon Snap like? It's actually pretty good. It's fu it's a fun time. It if you like actually want to get like the best photos of everything, it takes a long time. Any preference between the two? I mean, it's this game is a game of its time. It, you know, it's got a nostalgia factor for me. Oh, I love that photo. Rainbow Cloud. Yeah. Yes. All right, we just need that picture of Mew now. We have to torture this Mew for a while now. too early. There we go. What? 
What the hell? We're good. My heartbeat. My heartbeat. Is that how you know how close to the end you are? took way too many pictures of Mew. <laughs> like, it didn't need that many. Oh! The one where he's shitting out stars! <laughs> yeah! Wait. Welcome back. You've completed the Pokemon report. Fuck off as a genuine Pokemon ph photographer. Congratulations. I have nothing left to teach you. Listen to your instincts and click the shutter when you see something that looks cool. Pokemon research on this island seems long at first, but it really went by fast. I appreciate all of your help. Well then, see you later. See you. Credits. Dude, these pictures are awesome. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I caught that Biobloom jacking off in public. Look at him. And then this one, Magmar, like, why me? Dude, hell yeah. Okay. Dude, Pikachu on a log, right? Insane. How how many points that is. And that's not even the best one. You can have Pikachu on a log and then play the polka flute and it will start doing thunder shocks while on the log. And forget it. Like literally you show that to Professor Oak and he fucking creams himself. Loves that shit. He's like, is that Pikachu on a fucking stump? And like, yeah, this Pikachu's on a stump. And he's like, oh, yeah. Starting to say Onyx, but I ain't no Onyx in chat. Well, 
Oh, Jack Nabbit. You gosh darn onyx. You think you would manage all shinies on this level? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> there's a there's a ludicrous amount of Pokemon. And I am halfway through Gen 1. Excuse me. How far did I think I'd get? I really didn't know. I really had no idea. Let's do this one. Let's switch it up. I, I think I've made good progress as well. We, we definitely got a good amount of shinies. Oh. Yeah, it's been pretty decent luck-wise. I mean, the beginning was the worst of it, by far. But then it kind of picked up the pace after that. Um, fuck me. God damn it. Epsilon base, or bass, maybe? Welcome in, happy to have you here, and Malakoy, think of the five sub sub bomb. Sub bomb incoming. ED outbreak school though. Okay. Oh. Come on, Onyx. At least give me a chance. You know what I mean? Madness of one, welcome back to your third month. And Genito Fire, welcome. Thank you for subbing. Damn, Rhyhorn.
Don't yawn. I'm sorry. I've been up since 4 a.m. I'm allowed to yawn. Iron Will Drac, thank you for gifting a sub. I just woke up at 4 a.m. and couldn't fall back asleep. That's why I started streaming at like 8. I Like I really, I was trying for hours and hours and hours and I just couldn't do it. Oh, Hisui and Zoroark. Outbreak, my favorite shiny. Keep going the wrong way. Mm, no Onyx. Can Onyx even outbreak here? I keep checking because I know Onyx can spawn on that. I think it can. I think it can outbreak there. I know it can spawn on that map because there's a um, Alpha Steelix. So I'm pretty sure that Onyx can be there. Onyx outbreaks can also spawn in coastlands? Really? Oh my god. According to Cerebi, it can only outbreak... Oh, well, that's not right. <laughs> that's incorrect. <laughs> Maybe, like, for specific... Like, not massive mass outbreaks. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So there's mass outbreaks and there's massive mass outbreaks. So mass outbreaks, I guess that can only be on the highlands. Um, whereas massive mass outbreaks, Onyx can spawn, I would assume, highlands or Meyerlands. Onyx and Coastland sounds... I don't know. Oh my god, I keep thinking I'm somewhere else. Uh, neither of you are the rock Pokemon I need! God, we had like three of them before Pokemon Snap. Oh, I guess it can't be in a massive mass outbreak there. Okay. Meyer and Coast for MMO. Oh, you're right. Okay. So we're not going to go to Highlands for massive mass outbreaks anymore. I'm just trying to think if I've ever seen Onyx in the coastlands. That's so weird because I don't think it spawns here naturally. Um, where would you be? Oops. A 
with this one, unfortunately. Oh, Onyx, where art thou? Thanks. Can I offer you a bear in these trying times? Or nothing. How about nothing? Alright, let's at least get... Nope. Nothing. Being a real ass right now. I'll take it. Baby Hater Elite, thank you for the 32 months. And Saber Dragon with the 15, thank you. I'll take it. At least we've gotten outbreaks here before. <sighs> this one is not one of those.
when the stream is over, yeah, take a shower, lay down, and just like relax for a while. I don't know what my dinner will be tonight. It kind of depends on when it is that we end. There's five areas. Three of them had massive mass outbreaks, neither in the area that we need. Right. So I keep resetting the game to try to get an outbreak of Onyx, because that's where it's gonna have really high shining chances. These are called massive mass outbreaks, which means a lot of Pokemon are outbreaking. And I can like pay this Munchlax a certain type of berry to show me what everything is rather than have to go ex explore it for myself. Onyx is supposedly supposed to be able to outbreak in those in the coastlands. We haven't seen it yet. Uh, it can also outbreak in the Mirelands, which it hasn't since since we played Pokemon Snap. We got like two or three Onyx outbreaks before the wheel spin. We've yet to get one. Just been getting very unlucky with uh, spawns. Apparently it can't spawn in the highlands in massive mass outbreaks. Only in the coastlands. Extremely unlucky. Try again. Will I get three Mirelands outbreaks with no Onyx? Come on. Wow. 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 That's pretty fucking brutal. That is pretty brutal.
four. Massive mass outbreak number four. Fuck my life. Thanks, Logan. We've hit a grinding halt in terms of shiny hunting. Two Cyndaquil and a Quilava outbreak. Yeah, and a Spirit Tomb outbreak. And a Turret Twig outbreak. All of which are pretty rare. Onyx is not rare. We've also had two Rhyhorn outbreaks and a Graveler outbreak. Like, just as a, an outbreak. But not Onyx. Alright, number five! Here we go! Number five, will it have an onyx? Wow, it's got ride on. Onyx, there he is! You son of a bitch hiding behind a lost bag. All right, at least we have a chance. Like, listen, that doesn't mean there's gonna be a shiny onyx. I'm just happy to at least get a shot. You know what I mean? All right. I need full concentration for this. Well, two of those are Steelix, so that's annoying. At least we got a chance. At least we got a, you know. Better than nothing. It actually used to be easier to shiny hunt in Arceus using the mass using the uh, mass outbreaks oh fuck you used to be able to used to be able to be in the village and see what outbreaks there were and um and like for example that gibble outbreak right I'm like oh it's a gibble outbreak I would save and then I would travel to the Gibble Outbreak, see if there were any shinies. If there weren't, I would reset back at the village. The Gibble Outbreak would still be there. I would then go and check the new Outbreak. Nothing there. Back to the village. Like, and then you would just keep doing that over and over and over and over again. Um, and then... Uh, 
they were like, no. So now when I, if I save in the village, when I reload in, it will re-roll the outbreaks. Okay, where... I think I know where Onyx spawns. I'm gonna start flying... past Onyx, just to see if a random Onyx spawns shine. There's one over here. And then there's more over here. I think there's an alpha one here. Maybe? Oh, there's just an onyx. All right. Uh, you know what? At least we saw an onyx. <laughs> Yeah, there's more in the highlands is where I'm going to go if there's nothing. Got a massive mass outbreak. The W, at least we saw an Onyx. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get good rest after this. Right, huh. Let's check. That's where Gliscor is. That's where. There. Okay. The hell was that? Oh, it's an Alpha Geo, dude. Jesus. You can't make this shit up.
That wasn't a shiny noise, by the way. That was just chingling. Doing his fucking thing. I mean, yeah, I could <coughs> fully complete his Pokedex entry, which would up my chances a little bit. But it usually is not worth it. It's usually like such a huge grind. You know, it'll be like knockout 40 Onyx with a grass move. Um, hit, catch this many, ooh, Onyx. Like, catch this many large onyx. And shit like that, and it's like... Oh. <laughs> God, once again, two Steelix. Can a brother get some onyx in his onyx outbreak? Oh, more Steelix. the save scum method still work for outbreaks nope patched it i mean it works in that like when i get into the map i can save the game and then anything that would spawn shiny i will always be able to go get Come on, Onyx. I like you, Onyx. You and I have always been on good terms. I mean, I'm getting a bunch of massive mass outbreaks, so I can't complain. Oh my god, welcome back for your 25th month. And Vinny D. Viking, 29. Man, I really would just like a uh, an Onyx outbreak. Like, not even, like, you know what I mean? Not a massive mass outbreak, but like an Onyx outbreak? I've seen those a bunch. Those have a better chance than the massive mass outbreaks to have a shiny and they and they spawn more of that pokemon that would be my best bet at a shiny is a mass outbreak not a massive mass outbreak of onyx and we got rhyhorn <laughs> dude that's my third rhyhorn outbreak <laughs> fucking hell Oh my god, Onyx really can outbreak here. That's, I just like, that's so weird. He's just gonna be chilling on the beach. Having a fucking, having a lazy day. It's 
sun is very bright. Look at them up here, and they're all Onyx! Oh, a new horde. Alpha? Steelix. Dang. What happened? My friend said Jeremy found a shiny onyx, but he's still hunting. Your friend's a fucking liar, dude. You should, you should dump that friend. You should get that friend out of your life. They're using you. They're playing with your emotions. You should, um, you should paint your finger green, your middle finger green, take a photo of it and text it to them and write, here's your shiny onyx. Fuck! <laughs> Just nothing. Just barren. Excuse me. I, Professor, if I'm talking to you, it's not just for the lulls. Just send me to the village. Fucking shit. Damn it! Rhyhorn number four! Dude, I hate... I hate... Chimeco fucking... As I go by. Like, ooh, him again. I am not okay. All right. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Shiny Steelix is way better than Shiny Onyx. <sighs> the thing is, it fucks with the spawns, so it's probably not even worth checking the Onyxes here. Because there's going to be something right on top of them, and it's going to fuck with your spawns anyways. <laughs> oh my penis! Oh my penis! 
melts off my body and droops upon the ground. Nope. Nope. Is there another onyx up this way? Jesus! Can something not be mad at me for a second? Thank you. Why did I just hear a magma zone? Come on, Onyx Outbreak. Come on. Come on. Yes. I hit the wrong button and am just torturing this one onyx. Dude, I hate their... They're a little slither at me. So creepy. I... I... Fucking... All right, let's see if there's another outbreak after this one. There is. Not Steelix, not Steelix. Damn. So what I'm hoping for there, whenever it's like, ooh, another outbreak showed up, right? Um is it can be steelix like after the onyx outbreak it can be a steelix outbreak or it can be an alpha onyx outbreak so whenever i'm like not steelix not steelix i'm hoping that it's an alpha onyx outbreak not the next outbreak but the one after will have your shiny Ooh. all right Dude, I would love if you, like, Babe Ruth called your shot like that, Tidal Wave. That'd be so cool. Alright, let's see if there's an Onyx outbreak here. So this doesn't mean that there's going to be another outbreak, that symbol right there. Um, that symbol just means that the berries that I'm giving Munchlax, the agave berries, 
catching or defeating the Pokemon in this particular outbreak will give you those bonus. Okay. What's that? Yeah. I wish this was an easy thing for me to be like, here, why don't you do it? Because I really need a shower. I mean, I can try. No, it's fine. I mean, I am very partial oatmeal raisin, but. Oh wow. Hi, buddy. So there are... Yeah. Wait, your dad just left? Yes. How much could you hear me? Oh, you know. <laughs> You didn't hear me singing a song a little bit ago, did you? No. Okay. Nice fork collection. Nice what collection? Fork. I know. I keep building up forks. <laughs> like all subathon. I've been just building up forks. Down to 665 orders. Cruising. Mm. You have any of these yet? Yeah, I had the chocolate one. Brownie? Is it good? It is. They're good. Man. Uh, all right, here we go. Onyx outbreak. So this is the one that Tidal Wave called if there is an Onyx outbreak here. And there is not. Right? Yeah. I don't know how we would do Gamba to give away the funky cat stickers that didn't come out right. for good luck it's all yeah that wasn't the outbreak there needs to be an onyx outbreak so that one doesn't count i wasn't looking why didn't it count there was no onyx oh i am just on the verge of glory no oh that's the goddamn fifth Rhyhorn outbreak. <laughs> I still ride up here anyways to check these two onyxes just in case. Chingling does a little freaking dance at me every time. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, so I have to go here because there's a massive mass outbreak here. Mm -hmm. Only two areas can have onyx. Mm. Meyerlands and the coastlands. If there's a massive mass outbreak. And so I save. I come mm -hmm. over here and I say, hey. Show me what's outbreaking here. And she'll go, okay, here it all is. And then I look at all these faces. And if none of them are onyx, like now, I reset. And we try again. Like this. Yeah, poofin. I haven't eaten enough today. That's why I've been snacking. And I just need an outbreak of a certain rock ground type. And instead, I get five outbreaks of a different rock ground type. I deserve that. I deserve that. And I know I deserve that. I, you know. It's okay. I'm not really sure what the problem but... Uh, there was an outbreak here. Oh. Of a rock ground type. Oh, the Rhyhorn. It wasn't Rhyhorn. It was Geodude. Oh, that was close, sort of. Yep. Also not the correct rock ground type. Look at your little hat. I'm sorry. I know I didn't see it. <laughs> so I... You just looked at me like like I. It's a little EV face. Oh, no, it's cute. So we've had five Rhyhorn outbreaks, a Graveler outbreak, and a Geodude outbreak. Five of that Onyx, right? God damn it. Not even any massive mass outbreaks that I could work with. I mean, I know I don't take time a lot, but I'm gonna go shower and I can. <laughs> At this point, it's a German. No, because then I'm going to leave you here with them, and a bunch of times going to get slapped on. No, they wouldn't do that. Yes, right, they chat? would. Yes, they would. Chat. So then you say, I say, no, don't do it. And then they do it, but they add the message. This sorry. isn't personal. Yeah, sorry, cat. <laughs>
You get no raps. You're out of raps. You've expended, you've expended your rap allowance. Wolf of Shades. Black Labs, thank you for the vibes from Sub Bomb. Chat. Well, there's a sub nuke. Get down! It's a sub nuke! Damn it. Sub bomb incoming. Sorry, tidal wave. What happened? No, tidal wave said, I'm calling it two outbreaks from now is the one you get. He's like, not right. the next outbreak, but the one after. Here we go. And no, I got two more since then. Oh. So it didn't happen. Sub bomb incoming. Oh, there's another six from Wolf of Shades. Oh, for 6666, six, six, six. got it. It's almost three hours. Scary. And if I made it to Drowsy, I can make progress because Drowsy and Hypno are both in Violet. In like the. Like I can just yeah. Yeah. You can. Sandwich but them. Onyx is uh, not letting that happen. This is cute. Does that help? Uh, Merchant Donos are closed. We added that at the beginning of the day, and uh, that's it. After that, there's no more adding to it. That was the final ad. And if you're wondering when that became a rule, the answer is now. Oh my goodness, are you drooling? You're drooling. I can't be there. All right, step one, massive mass outbreak. Step two, they're revealing Onyx in the massive mass outbreak. Step three, profit. Shiny Onyx. Oh, well that, same. Okay. Step two happened. Okay, that's an Alpha Steelix. Oh, it's so high level. Yeah, is it level 100? I'm 
hoping that guy's guarding the the shiny onyx. Three hours left. Never thought I'd see that for a while. We've actually seen it four different times today. Spawns. I'm like, what a waste. Hi, buddy. Ugh. The worst part is, I thought I already had Shiny Onyx. Oh, that's and annoying. I definitely have. It must have been on my last switch. The one that got lost. Oh. Yeah. 100%. That stinks. Welcome back for 25 months. I'm sure it's P Vangle. Uh, but I read it as P V Ankle, which then became pretty violent ankle in my head. Nice. Uh, theoretically, it'd be better in this game than Let's Go. Uh, but that's if the, like, odds were working in our favor. But they're not. Unabashedly shameless. Thank you for gifting us up. Switch was lost so long ago. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it anymore now. Set. It's bad. It's really bad, my luck, right now. You want to teach me the controls? No, it's all right. And we'll see if I can be luckier. I'll just keep grinding away. Are you hungry? Yeah. What would you like? Yeah. Oh, here. Clear that box isn't for you, my love. Oh, Rhyhorn in a different spot. Nice. Awesome. Just see a tail. It's all the blood in the scooter. Okay. Let's see. Let's 
Honestly, that sounds good. I honestly didn't even know Rhyhorn could uh, have an outbreak in that other spot. Gun tank. Hey, that person just donated. Hey, cat. I just want you to know I appreciate all the work you did with the kid and face. Thank you. Something. You're welcome. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. So I have a question. I deserve this. <laughs> so you don't need the Steelix, you already have that? I need a Steelix, yeah. I don't I don't think I have a Steelix. Oh, but that doesn't count because it's not first. Yep. Yeah, no, I need an Onyx. Well, yes, I was just... Hi, and there is 50 subs. Yep. Shiny Alpha Steelix. Normally, I'd be super excited about that. Uh, I'm not. Interesting. Every time I don't take an hour off, the time just goes up. It's brutal. We were at like an hour and 45 minutes at one point. Geodude, no onyx. Sure.
brutal. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Rhyhorn, no Onyx, no Onyx. A sauce. There's a ton of options. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking, my life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. My life is motherfucking agony. Game's just not giving me what I need. Not doing it. Yeah. Lime crema or something I've never heard. Uh, hold on. Say again. Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. Yeah. Lime crema. Salsa. Probably lime crema. Well, I'm also thinking to myself, like, I mean, if I get shinies, awesome. I'm going to bed at midnight. I'm going to bed at midnight, and um, you guys can keep it going until the morning if you want. If the <laughs> clock runs out while I'm asleep, hey, fuck you. Harsh? Harsh? Hey, that person just donated. Since you're all out of rap, I'll give it a try. Shiny hunting for this golden snake. If I don't get it soon, I'll surely break. See, golden hue. Feelings are mixed. Not onyx, but fucking steelix. Good rap. thinking an appetizer of a quesadilla? Uh, sure. What is the difference between fajita steak and short rib? God damn. I mean, it's a different cut. So, like, flavor-wise, it's gonna be similar? I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. I would assume, like, short rib is usually, like, braised and kind of slow cooked. I'm realizing what I picked out for you might be a little messy. Is that okay? Yep. Still nothing.
was an alpha that time. Not shiny though. I guess I went to the wrong place. Eh, fuck it. This says cheese only. Do you think they still put the onions and peppers in it? It's like, I would that's like a risk. I would doubt they do. Because I feel like people who would order something cheese only are the kind are people who are like, no 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 no. I don't want anything else in there. Well, I'm like, I want cheese and onion peppers. Yes. <laughs> I'm submitting the order. You didn't want anything else for so. I don't no, I don't think so. Okay. I hope it's good. Oh my god. Thank you. I'll be fulfilling that in like <laughs> yeah, you're a ways out from getting any orders. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh. I've also run out of shirts. I run out of almost every size Void Rose shirt at this point. So the restock. I need the restock. They're not even giving me massive mass outbreaks anymore. Such a shame. So unlucky. So with Lex Dark. Yeah. It I'd have to motion be... control chain hunt on us. I don't know shit. What is motion control? Like if it's plugged into the dock so the chat. Hey, that can person just donated! Like natural, you have to use motion controls. I'll try one more. Subathon oh. gone on yep. for 16 That's days. Disgusting. The low time left has put chat into craze. Until payday tomorrow, I'll be Scroogey. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. Nice. That was an excellent try to rhyme with Fuji. I couldn't hear it. What was the word? Oh, Scroogey? <laughs> Do we have a command for what's on the wheel? No. And it will stay that way. You get nothing. And not a non-action sign. Back. Back to it. It's a little EV face, but it almost looks like it's on a coconut. Uh, yeah, I think there's a Growlithe one, too. Oh. 
Oh, Scroogey. Like, I need to be Scroogey. Like, Scrooge-like. Ah. I see. Lord! We love you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, Pokemon clearly doesn't. Night, Vinny. Sleep well. game I've been fucking talking up how much I love shiny hunting in. It's just not giving me anything. Is Onyx more rare? Uh, no. It's actually common. I... Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, that person just donated! I would formally like to apologize for ruining Xbox John Brown's rhyme. He wrote Scrooge E as in like Scrooge. I mispronounced it. It's okay, Probably Skyla. did again a second ago. It's okay, Skyla. We all make mistakes. After I try. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, that person just donated! Hey, Jeremy. For your next, a fawn, you should have bits and subs that both add time and subtract time and let chat fight over the time. I mean, I could do that. What would, what was the, what would add and what would subtract? So, uh, there should be, like, amounts that oh. add time and amounts that subtract so time. So, did, like, a thousand and one bits that takes off time kind of stuff? Basically, yeah. It would be interesting. I would say, like, once the subathons get to this point, it's like 90% of the chat wants them to end. And then, like, 10... The 10 rich percent of the chat doesn't. Again, nothing. Not even a, a massive mass outbreak in the wrong area. There's nothing. Oh, I had a, a popcorn shell or whatever. Got it. So much better. I feel like I just need to be here for moral support. I mean, uh, the game is like legitimately beating me down right now with with unluckiness. Okay, I have a I have a hypothesis. Yeah. Let's open another game. No. Okay. This is pretty bad for Ar it's literally the worst I've seen in Arceus ever. Shiny hunting in it. How does it know? I don't know. Because I feel like it definitely does. Yeah. Uh, see, so I need a massive mass outbreak. These question marks? Yeah. Here or here? 
So you want the question marks in one of the, the one of those two, two spots. Yeah. Okay. Ivan Dash Smith. Oh yeah. Let me get rid of this. Welcome in. Catwolf hate let's go. Hate it. <laughs> that's the that's the don't don't uh touch anything else, right? It's brutal. Shiny hunting in that. Yeah. Shiny hunting in that is like constant stress. Does changing the time or anything help with Arceus? No. Nope. Totally random. Ah. Yeah. This is rough. Research level 10, and this is from the chat, but research level 10 makes your shiny odds and makes like rates go up a lot. Do you know what you're at? Or is that like an insane amount? And you probably already know that I'm just... But I don't know, so I'm, I'm just reading off and I'm sorry, I apologize, and I love you. Thank you. I know, you and I, we... D you don't know the chats to ignore. No. Yeah. It's me. Well, I was wobbling my foot too. <sighs> it won't. It won't do any good. Well, you can step away for minutes, which probably would. No, like, cause the 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 stepping away. What I want is to get shiny, so I can take time off and end the stream. But it's, it's like, so it's, you know, stepping away isn't going to help. I like, I, I just need to get the shine. I just need the game to help in any way. And it just won't finally get a massive mass outbreak in this area. Finally, it at least got a massive mass outbreak in the right area. Just no onyx.
Oh, another one. This spot again. I didn't even know Onyx could spawn here. Because it makes no sense because it's a beach. But, you know. Well, sand is just little rocks. Right? Uh, I mean, fact. That is fact. Onyx. Yeah, I know. Well, you saw Geodude. Yeah. Yeah, Rhyhorn and Geodude are annoying because they're like the exact same shade. Yeah. Alright. Come on. No Steelix. No Steelix, just a shiny Onyx. There's a Steelix, but that's fine. At least there's only one. Every one of them that spawns has a, a chance to be shiny, like a decent chance. And then when you catch them all, mm -hmm. it has a chance to spawn a new horde, which is Steelix. Damn it. Which can sometimes be more Onyx, mm -hmm. but it has yet to be that. You have a hoodie. A bisexual werewolf hoodie? Yeah. It just it feels a lot bigger than the other one we have. Well, now there's massive mass outbreaks in the coastlands, like constantly. Check up putting the timeout. I see that. I will be right back. Okay. I'll be here. If you need me. <sighs> back to it. Such a shame. Like, I was talking about this game so much. And Arceus is usually great. It's usually so good for shiny hunting. It's just not right now. There's a lot of Onyx, but... Well... Oh. Seeing Steelix doesn't really... It's not really a thing. I just don't like that it takes a spawn away from an, yeah, what could be an Onyx. Everything I'm throwing is acting a little weird. I just love that in this game you just see Oh, Steelix. Die. 
Huh? Yep. Absolutely. Ow. Uh, so we'll see if a new horde is gonna form. Oh my god, it is. Alpha Onyx? Nope. Geodude. Yeah, that's it. I am comfy, really. Come on, give me an onyx. Mass Alfred, give me an onyx one, not another Rhyhorn one. Give me an onyx. What sucks is like, and I'm sure it's just like, it just feels that way because I've done so much shiny hunting in this game that like, you know, I'll be going in here and looking for outbreaks that I need and whatnot. And I feel like I see onyx outbreaks all the time. Like, all the time, like, ah, there's Onyx. Daystar, did you really cheer one bit so you could write that? Hey, that person just donated! To help ease the pain, I have been here every step of the way. Not slept a wink as sleep paralysis is to blame. I hope you end this soon to rest it all away. I... Not much left to say, so have a great day. Thank you. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. I'm like... I'm really trying. I just got another Graveler outbreak. Which is not... The Pokemon I need. Though is an outbreak that is rarer than Onyx's. It's, uh, trust oh, me, so it's important. no, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm I'm fully dead inside, so it's like no. there's no like improvement on it at the moment. All right, well, how about this? If you get the shiny, yeah, and then we're gonna go back to Scarvy. You text me, mm -hmm. show me kind of what to do, and then you can go like take a shower and. Got it. Does that seem fair? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go work. I'm gonna work for a bit. Bye, hon. Do you need anything? Uh, no. Tombstone? Okay.
no onyx. I'm just going to put music back on so I don't have to make any noise. So close, guys. You were so close. Oh, Rhydon, nice. That's a that's a new one. So we've had Geodude, Graveler, Rhyhorn, and Rhydon. Nice. No, and honestly, if I had gotten Onyx, like, right after Pokemon Snap, I could have ended the stream. Because Drowsy and Hypno would have, like, most likely been back-to-back. -back. Yeah, but, you know. My life is motherfucking agony, agony. Rich 1% returns. Two has request access to its playtest. Ooh. I'll have to do that. Onyx. Thought there were two Onyxes. Come on. Rave Mankey music in the background. Uh, no, I'm not muted. I'm just dead inside. I hit an onyx that spawned like immediately. Oh, wow, it's another secondary outbreak. Steelix.
No, I've definitely gotten Shiny Onyx before, yeah. But it, it was most likely on the Switch that was lost. That's an interesting spot. Maybe the shiny's on that island. Jesus. Really, another Onyx outbreak with no shiny? That's astronomically bad luck. Wow. Damn. Wow. I like this place is the only place that has massive mass outbreaks anymore. I mean, I'll take it. It's better than nothing.
Hi, Ari. Nope, it's been miserable. They give it a thousand bits. Thank you, Dragon Man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, do bits count toward the time too? Yes. Arceus doesn't sink your time. Sword and Shield does. Arceus has its own uh, day-night cycle. why like I could go to the bed the bed right here and I could say I like I want to rest and it's like when do you want to rest until like morning you know evening whatever which I wish Scarlet and Violet had something like that because it has its own day and night cycle and like I said if there's like a ghastly outbreak and it's daytime there's nothing you can do about it they won't spawn Yeah, it's weird that they don't have like a wait function. I mean, it's not weird. It's it's expected, but it would be nice. There is. I'm talking about Scarlet and Violet. Not Legends Arcade. I'm saying I wish Scarlet and Violet had the the weight mechanic that this game does.
I wonder what his favorite Pokemon game is. It was this one. Now I don't know. Get an Onyx Outbreak. We sure don't. That's a really rare outbreak. Hey, that person just donated. Actually, in a weird way, Scarlet Violet is connected to the console's clock. 72 minutes in real time is equivalent to one in game day. Adjusting the clock by 36 minutes will change from day to night. A nerd. Oh. It sucks. What's wrong, hon? You making a face like Also get a Hunk of cornbread.
Jeremy is in hell and we are the devil. That's not true. I only genuinely hate two of you. Yo, dude, uh, Onyx. Please, come on, dude. Jesus Christ. Massive mass outbreak means that there's like a ton of different Pokemon outbreaks of all different types of Pokemon. But mass outbreak just um, is what we want. That's the ones that just have one Pokemon. This is nothing, so I can't compare. Um, 
those ones have the highest odds. But massive mass outbreaks, they still have better odds. But we want a mass outbreak of Onyx, which we have not seen yet. And even then, that doesn't guarantee a shiny. It just means that that's our best chance. So the reason I keep coming here and doing this is because I can see two Onyx here. And I'm basically just seeing if either of them happen to spawn shiny. Rather than just like reset right off the bat. Surlian, welcome. And I got a shiny Alpha Steelix out of it, which is cool. Um, but not what I need. Shiny Alphas are badass. Just an awful time for it. Oh, fuck. I'm glad it looks like I'm suffering from the shiny hunt. I never like to misrepresent how I'm feeling. outbreak. Now, is there an Onyx here? Let's see. There is not. Another shot, another chance.
Gibble. Someone use an alt to avoid scrutiny? Yeah, almost assuredly. Almost assuredly. Uh-huh. messy boy then. Sub bomb incoming. Uh, Trickster, thank you for the vibes of Sub Bomb. I'm sad I probably won't be here for the end of the subathon. But. All things must happen. It's a thought that counts. I can always pop in and say bye. No, people will donate if I do that. Sub 
sub bomb incoming. Game breaker, thank you for the five sub sub bomb. I'm not mad. You're fine. Oh yeah, I'll keep working on my living decks after the shiny thon, for sure. Wow, three G four Geo dude. Dang. Wow. It's unfortunately been the theme of the subathon. Like, it's been fun. The subathon's been very fun, but every time we're like close to some sort of milestone or like have something really fun coming up, whatever, my luck just gets 
horrible. It just gets tiring. Graveler this time. It's a rare one. Yeah, because honestly, if I had, uh, if I had gotten Onyx, like, shortly after Pokemon Snap, I would have been able to start shiny hunting Drowsy and Hypno before that person made their alt account. I probably could have ended the stream. That was only if Onyx showed up. Mainstream, think of the 11 months. Icy Shadows, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it.
Dolan, welcome back for your fourth month. Trust me, I would love to. Oh, lost and found, 100%. How sad is that? Welcome in. Answer, extremely. Geodude, Geodude. Two Geodude. Hi, welcome back. Thank you, Fatal Wounds. And don't worry, I'm, I won't see the end of the subathon either. Hey, that person just donated! I wanted to thank you for the Shinathon and most importantly, your sanity. I hope this can help even a little bit Traveler. on the move. Thank you.
done by midnight? I will be. Hey, Scoot. Right on again. Pretty rare that ride on spawn. Much rarer than Onyx. Hey, that person just donated! I wanted to thank you for the 16 days of entertainment without adding more time to the clock. Thank you. I hope you get shiny snacks soon. I'd love it. I really would. Traveler, that's also, also a uh, more uncommon one. We haven't seen an Onyx outbreak in a fucking long time. It won't start now. Honestly, like, that's the part that's killing me more than, like... Oh, a bunch of time got added at the last second, because I knew that would happen. It's just, like, the thing that I can't do anything about. Like, just being absurdly unlucky. There's nothing I like, there's nothing I can do about it.
Like, that's the part that's killing me. Because like I said, because of the added time, I probably won't be here for when the subathon timer ends. And like... I don't know. It, it's, it's, it sucks having the thought of like... I might just be doing this until I go to sleep. <laughs> and like the subathon will just be over. Like super anticlimactic. Two Rhyhorn and a Rhydon. Why don't you pause the timer? Uh, not a chance in hell. Not a fucking chance. Person just donated. Thank you. Always and forever will be my comfort streamer, Little J. Love you in chat. We can be annoying, but for the most part, we do it out of love. Thank Bitch. you. Yeah, like, if the people that want to, like, throw stuff in at the last minute, if they want to keep it going all night, go for it. You can spend your money all night. I'm fine with that. I'll be back in the morning. Zero Alpha with the 80. Thank you. No one's stopping them, yeah. Um, has, has this subathon changed your opinion on doing them? Uh, we'll see. I might do a subathon again in the future. I'm like, never say never, but I, this, this 